Good evening and welcome now to Poplar Bluff Senior High School. I'm Frankie Castile. Tonight is the night. It is the final regular season game of 2023 and we are in for quite the treat tonight. We've got so much going on. We're talking a lot of things are going on besides just Poplar Bluff basketball. We've got other big things going on tonight as well. And we're going to go through all those here tonight in great detail. We're going to be talking about high school wrestling. One of our wrestlers, only a sophomore, by the way, in high school, she is already, Zoe Freeman is already in the semifinals. She is going to medal coming up. She did last year. And we'll see where she'll end up this season. And who knows? She might very well be the first ever Mules wrestler to ever win state. And that'll be something that we'll be talking about for a very, very long time. Once again, Tim Hicks is on the camera. So glad he is with us. We've got the scoreboard up and running here tonight. It is at the JV contest right now. As you can see on your screen, 51-29, the current score. Sykes and Bulldogs, they currently lead Poplar Bluff, and we'll see if this score can continue the way that it is. In the meantime, we are just getting underway. We're going to be joined, I'm assuming at some point here tonight, we'll be joined by John Scott, a big three-point basket there by the Bulldogs, 54-29 the score. Also tonight, we've got something very special coming your way after this ball game here between the JV Mules and the Bulldogs. We're going to have ourselves a little three-on-three -three competition, and this will benefit Special Olympics, and I'm so excited. Tim and I, we found out today, actually we found out about, what, 5.30 or so, what was going on. So we have decided that we are going to air this live on Facebook and YouTube. Tim has done a remarkable job of getting everything set up to where we're going to try to do something we have not done before. It'll be a split screen that we're going to do coming up later on during our broadcast. That way you'll be able to see both games going on at the same time. Should be a lot of fun and we can't wait to make that happen. We are under the two minute mark here in the third quarter. What a good steal there by Jay Edmondson. He goes up and he'll lay it up and score 56-33 now. We're gonna get a whistle and a foul coming up. I believe this one is gonna be on the Mules. If it is on Poplar Bluff, it'll be team foul number seven. Should be a one and one coming up and now they have said yes, a one and one indeed. So that's where we are right now. We still have a lot of ball game left to go. 150 remaining here in the third. Each team with five timeouts. And 56-33 is the current score. Seven to two are the fouls as of right now. Good job there by the Mules on the rebound. Here comes Edmondson again, stepping inside the paint, lays one up with the right hand, could not finish. Big rebound by the Bulldogs, under two minutes here to play. Once again, Jackson Moore using that knee for something. He goes up, lays it in, and scores two more. Good assist by Jay Edmondson. And don't look now, it is down to a 56 to 35 lead right now. The Bulldogs, another steal by the Mules, and what a running floater by Jay Edmondson. Where did that come from all of a sudden? We've got a timeout here called by the Bulldogs. It is their first timeout of the ball game, and this will be a 30-second timeout. Coach Will Hollifield is calling his team over, and he wants a quick timeout. That was a great play a moment ago by Jay Edmondson not only got a steal, but then the running floater, it's almost like he thought maybe the time was expiring the way that he went up and laid it in. Either way, it falls in the hands of the Mules, and what a great score that was. 56-37 now the score as Popper Bluff continues to at least try to make some type of comeback, and tonight we're talking about the final JV game of this year 
Hard to believe where has this year gone. The districts are now set in stone. We know where we're going. We know when we play. Most importantly, we know who we are playing first. And we'll be talking about all that coming up tonight right here live on the program. The Bulldogs out in transition. Oh, what a block by the Mules. What a block. Oh, Williams is going to have it pickpocketed. Settle went for the steal. Jackson Moore comes away with a steal. What a move. Dallas Williams. I thought he was going to flush that one home, and he draws the contact. Well, I tell you what, this JV Mules team right now, they are giving it everything they've got. 56 37 to score. And Williams is going to have an opportunity to put up two more points. First one is up, and it is good. Boy, the Mules right now down by 18 points. A moment ago, we were getting close to a running clock scenario. Not the case right now. Literally, the Mules cutting this down and to now 56-39 to score. Stacy Scott tuning in. Let's go Mules. TJ Neal tuning in. Also Steven Randall getting some folks logged in as we are in the final JV game of the season. Mules right now. Good bucket there by the Bulldogs. Giving them two more points. 58-39. Settle. Gets it over to Jackson Moore. Moore got across the timeline. He does. Gets a little bit of space. He'll do the running floater and goes up and scores. That was a good running floater by Jackson Moore. Last two buckets have been by Edmondson and by Moore. Once again, the Bulldogs back in transition, beating the Mules back. Two more points for the Bulldogs. And now we go to the fourth quarter, and it is a 19-point ball game right now. As you can see, the Bulldogs are leading Popper Bluff by a score of 60 to 41. Tonight, we mark the end of an era here, and I'm going to be, uh, we'll talk about this all night long coming up. John Scott's going to join us tonight, unless I'm wrong, and I don't think I'm wrong on this, but tonight is going to be John and I's final broadcast, at least on Facebook and YouTube, of him being school board president. And John Scott, man, he has done he has done so much for what we're able to do here tonight. And we've said this the last couple of years. Tim and I had a vision about three years ago now, and we we pitched it to the school board president. We had no idea how it was going to go. He pitched it to the uh, school board remaining members. We got a phone call that said, you know what, let's give this a try. In three short seasons, we have done so many ball games. And it's just been a whirlwind. So we owe a lot of gratitude to John Scott. And we'll get him over here coming up tonight. We'll talk about this live. And without him, we would not be able to do a lot of this. And he'll be joining us coming up later on tonight. 60 to 41 to score. Seven more minutes to go in this ball game. Mules have it going left to right on your TV screen. Vicky Cato joining us. Oh, she's a good friend of mine. Join me. Put a headset on. Get over here. You can't say no. This lady right here, she is amazing, amazing people. Tell me, how are things going? Things are going great. Everything is going great. It's awesome. It is. JV Mules are making a comeback now, 60 to 41. Hard to believe it's our final JV game of the season, last home game of this year, before we start districts in about six or five days from right now. Yes, sir. So, I'm excited for this after the game game. Boy, I know. I'm so excited. We just found out about this, too, at about 5.30 or so. Special Olympics. We're going to air both of the games going on. Same time, Tim has done a great job getting all the cameras ready. We're going to have two games at the same time and then the championship game. If you know more details about these two games coming up, tell us more details. Of uh, the Unified Champions? Yeah, Unified yes, Champions, unified yes. Unified Champions. Uh, there are Special Olympics students and the other athletes from the school in various sports, and they will be matched up with each other and do a little 3v3 
basketball. You know what's amazing is the fact that I love the way our school gives back to special needs and special Olympics. I mean, it's really going to be a great sight. I can't wait to air this. This these, is going to be a lot of fun. I tell you what, these kiddos are so excited. I, I just went and checked in with them, and they are just jumping all over out there. I can't. I mean, I know that uh, some of the Lady Mules basketball players are going to be coaching this as we go along. It's going to be two games going on, win on each court, five-minute uh, games, and then the winners of those two games will meet up in a little championship basketball. But honestly, every kid coming out here competing tonight, they're all winners in my book. That's true. It's the truth. I, I just love these kids. I work with them every day, and they're so sweet and so special to me and to the whole school and that's and that's what you're going to see that these students of all all of the students are going to be so supportive of our of our special needs kiddos absolutely and by the way if you don't mind me saying love the shirt you're wearing here tonight rocking the kwoc <laughs> that's why i came up i had to show you i was sporting it i am so glad that you are supporting the uh, popper bluff mules the way you do and i miss you back around the office I by miss the way you too. i, miss I you tell guys. you what i'm so glad you were able to stop by i know you've got a lot of things going on tonight we can't wait to air this coming up Oh, it's called Unified Champions. The Unified Champions. Unified Champions. Well, Vicki, thank you so much for coming up. We can't wait to see it coming up in about maybe 10 minutes from right now. Yay! You going to get All out right. there and coach a little bit? No, no, I'm going to let that uh, let the kids well, that know what they're doing do that. We'll, we'll let Tim <laughs> zoom in on you anyway. How does that sound? Oh, no, I'm just going to be right here She'll cheering She'll be right from here. here. She's like, no way. You'll well, get the back of my head. There you go, Vicki. <laughs> thank you so much, my dear. Take we care. appreciate Absolutely. Vicki joining us here this morning. Great lady. Works with the school district. Does a great job with these kiddos. Love having her on the air. 62 to 43 the score mules are in double bonus now the rest of the way it is a 10 to 4 10 to 4 right now in the fouls and of course 40 62 to 44 now the score or make that 63 rather 43 mules down by 20 points could not get the bucket to fall there We've got so much going on here tonight with the except you know, we're talking about basketball. Obviously, that's the main front. We've got United Champions coming up, Special Olympics. You'll see some three-on-three -three action between the two games. So it will be an extended half or an extended pregame, I'm trying to say. Normally about this time, we're gonna be joining our radio broadcast, have them join us. But since we have all this extra stuff going on, we're going to wait and hold off on our radio broadcast until it's done. Because as of right now, I don't even have the names for our special kiddos. I do have Miranda Huddleston. She is going to join us coming up during the broadcast. She'll be up here, and she knows these kids by name. And we're going to see if we can talk her into doing some play-by-play -play analogy. That's what I'm going to shoot for anyway. Sykeston makes the free throw, 64 to 43. Now the score. Make sure before we get started, hit that share button for us on social media if you'd be so kind. Also, let us know where you're watching from tonight on a Friday night. Good move inside. Cameron Settle gets the easy bucket. Good dish to Dallas Williams. Boy, this Mules team, I know we're down 64-45. But, man, they have played really good. Another steal by Williams. Jay Edmondson going to clean it up and gets it over to settle. Three-point basket for the Mules. It'll be short this time. Mules are in the double bonus. Mules going for a trap. We're going to get a timeout here. Maybe a 30-second timeout called by the Sykeston Bulldogs. And that'll be their second timeout called here in the ballgame. They'll have three timeouts remaining in the ballgame. 64-45 is the score. Glad to see Travis Gowan tuning in here tonight. I did see Ireland a moment ago. She was walking around here. I think she's going to be out there coaching here in a few minutes for our United Champions. I hope, Tim, you're ready to do this uh, split-screen action, my friend. It's going to be a lot of fun watching two games at the exact same time. 
4.49 to go here in the ball game. 64 to 45, a final JV game of this season. After tonight, it'll be all about districts. Next week in Kirkwood, Jay Edmondson gonna pick up a foul. He didn't mean to, a little excuse me contact there. And that'll be his second personal foul. And now the Bulldogs are going right back to the charity stripe for two more free throws coming up. First one is on the way, knocks it down. 20-point game again for the Bulldogs. Second free throw is up, and it is no good this time. Good offensive rebound by the Bulldogs. And at two more points, 67-45 the score. 435 and counting, Travis Gowan. You got to get here, my friend, at some point. We got to do a ball game together. That would be a lot of fun, Travis. You know your sports, obviously, with basketball. I might be able to hush and let you do some play-by-play. -play. That would be a lot of fun. Foul going to be called on the Bulldogs. It sends the Mules it to the, nope, it's going to be on the floor. So now Jackson Moore, ref's going to wipe the ball off a little bit of condensation on the ball. Moore tries to inbound it, 67 to 45. Jay Edmondson top of the key. Jackson Moore gets a little bit of space, running floater too strong. Good offensive rebound, puts it up, can't score it. And now we're gonna get a tie up, a jump ball. And possession stays with the Mules. And on the inbound, count the basket and the foul for the Mules. Good inbound by Jackson Moore. Jay Edmondson, those two points go to him. 20-point game, 67-47. It is up and it is good. 67-48 now the score. Coach Brown in attendance. Bulldogs once again, they do a great job of breaking the press for the Mules. That one's taken away by Williams. And now Jay Edmondson pulls the trigger on a three, no good. Edmondson and the Mules, no matter how bad they are down, they are still not gonna give up another two points in transition. It is just past seven o'clock. It is 7.01 here on a Friday night. Final home game, three-point basket there by Williams. Final home game, final regular season game of 2023. It all comes down to this. Mules looking for their 10th win of the season. Had a good game last night against Park Hills. I know the Mules got the loss. But my goodness, what an offensive battle that was. Mules, timeout called on the floor. It is against the Sykes and Bulldogs. It is a full timeout. So two timeouts left for the Bulldogs. Mules still have all five. I was going to say last night was such a, an offensive onslaught. Mules would eventually go down in defeat. 96 to 81. How many times can the Mules say they scored 80 points and still lost a game? It was an offensive battle all the way around, so fast up and down the floor. First time these two teams met up for Sykeston and Popper Bluff, it was all the way back in the CMO Conference. United Champions as Dave Williams, by the way, tonight. He is our PA address announcer. I was going to say the last time these two met up between Sykeston and Popper Bluff was back on the 9th of December. It was another offensive battle. 89-74 was the score in that ball game. Mules coming up 15 points short in that one. So we'll see what the Mules have it up their sleeve tonight. Looks like the Bulldogs, they have traveled pretty well tonight. They always do. 
It must be camo night for the Bulldogs here. Edmondson will take the free throw shots. First one is up, and it is no good. It was a one and one. It goes out of bounds on the Mules, and it will stay with Sykeston. Good steal there by the Mules. Inside the paint, no good. Still can't bury the shot, 69-51 to score. And now we get a whistle and a foul coming up on the Mules. It's going to be on Jackson Moore. It is his third personal foul. First one is up. And it is good. Correction, no good. 69-51 to score. One out of two that time. Boy, there for a moment, that was going to be two out of two. The first one, it looked like it was going down. It looked like it was going down. Three-point basket by Edmondson. Came up way short. Settle shot couldn't go in. Williams goes up, and he can't knock it down. Cameron Settle tried to save it. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Mules. So Sykeston going to inbound. And boy, two points here. Quickly, 21-point game again. Just getting underway here tonight as the Mules taking on the Sykeston Bulldogs in Poplar Bluff. Basket is up and no good by the Mules. Shot no good, and then he puts it up and scores by the Bulldogs. Lee Wallace is tuning in. Glad to have you alongside Lee for our final regular season game tonight. It is our last game in basketball. Three-point basket off the backboard by Dallas Williams. I was going to say tonight it is our final basketball game on Facebook and on YouTube because starting next week, We've got to move to Misha TV. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. We don't have a choice. So Tim and I, we did this during football season. We actually ended up doing a game, a district game on Facebook and YouTube. I had Tim kind of blurry out the camera, so to speak. A lot of folks, they appreciated the fact they could watch that for free, but they would much rather be able to go on Misha and watch the video. So we won't do that anymore. We learned. We just wanted to do the right thing. We wanted to do this to where you wouldn't have to pay money. That's one thing about us. When it comes to ball games, I would so much rather you not have to pay a single dime to watch a ball game. That's why we travel. That's why we do it. But... When we get to districts, we don't have much of a choice. We have to go by what the state does. Eric Wallace is tuning in. Eric, my friend, all the way from Kenmore, Washington. Man, it's been a blast this season too, Eric. Tell you what, football, basketball, baseball, you guys are like a second family to myself and Tim. We see you guys more than our own families half the time. Mules there with a quick free throw shot there, 74-55. Now the Bulldogs get an easy transition bucket. They go up and score. Now the Mules once again stepping inside the paint. No good. Two more points for the Bulldogs. Tim, if you don't mind, take the uh, scoreboard away for just a moment. Having some issues on our end. We'll get that fixed here momentarily. Coming up on the one minute mark now. 78-55 the score. 
I've got Miranda Huddleston right beside me. Don't be shy, Miranda. Put that headset on. She's going to have a big role tonight in tonight's big contest coming up following this JV contest. So glad to have you alongside here tonight, Miranda, and talk about what's coming up following our JV game tonight. So, Frankie, we are so excited. This year, um, Popper Bluff High School is implementing what is called um, Unified Champions, and um, we are going to be able to have a little mini tournament um, between uh, some of our Unified Champions athletes tonight. Um, and this is the first one of hopefully many to come in the future. Tell you what, this is so exciting. And it's funny because we found out last night you guys were going to be doing this. I told Ken Keith, I said, what do we have to do to possibly live stream this? And he said, honestly, I think you guys can. I ran into you in the hallway or the, the lobby earlier, and you were going to ask me what I wanted to do already. This is truly a win-win situation because these kids, all these kids, they are champions, and it's so amazing to see what our school can do and get behind these kiddos. Yes. Um, since implementing the Unified Champions here at Popper Bluff um, High School this year, we have, as a staff and honestly as a student body as whole, I feel like we have seen a lot of um, positive things come out of it. Um, the student body as a whole, they just – They've really accepted it, and um, it has just, it, I just, I honestly, I don't have the words. It's just been so awesome. I can't wait to see this, and I've been told that as soon as the JV game goes off the air here, and by the way, scoreboard is fixed, 81-58 current score. We were told we might get maybe a few minutes for the kids to kind of warm up and get loose, and then we're going to go right into it. Yeah, they are uh, They are pumped, and they are ready. Um, they've been uh, working in the back. Coach Lack's been working with them. Yes. Yeah, they are They, they are ready. What's really cool is Eric will love this. He says he loves it as he is. Uh, that's awesome, Eric. I'm glad you're tuning in. The cool thing is, final score real quick. 81-58 is the current score, and the JV Mules come up a little bit short tonight, ending their JV season. What I was going to tell you was, Tim has worked very hard on this, and we're going to do something we've never done before. We're going to have two games going on, one on each end. Cameras, or I should say Tim has two different cameras going to be set up to where tonight they'll be able to watch each game at the same time. Awesome. I think um, we've got some student body uh, kids that are going to come through, and um, they're actually going to run through the tunnel down here. Yes. Um, so, yeah. We'll let Tim, if Tim, if you want to, if you want me to help you, I can. If you want to get the camera zoomed or over there where the cheerleaders are and some of the Mules players are lining up to see this, this is going to be amazing what we're going to see here tonight. It is Unified Champions, and I'm assuming you've got the all the names right because you're um, doing play I'm going to tell play. you guys. Yeah, okay. I'm going to tell you guys uh, um, all about the Unified Champions awesome. and what we kind of promote here at Popper Bluff High School through that. Um, some of the events that the uh, kids have uh, partaken in this year, um, and then kind of where we're hoping to go um, with this in the future. Um, these kids are awesome. Um, I, I love working at Popper Bluff High School, and I love working with all of these kids. It is, it's just amazing. Here we go. Here they go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is great. Unified champions right here. We're going to do some three-on-three on, three on each end of the court. And we're going to have Miranda talk about these kids. I guess they're going to warm up a little bit. Tim, do you have the uh, – you got the camera ready to go on the other camera? Cool. We'll so get that going. what we're going to do is um, we're going to have two games at each court um, for about five minutes, and then the winner of each team is going to then play each other um, at one of the ends of the courts. Um, we've got some of the kids that have also volunteered to ref with us. Um, and then we've got some volunteers that are going to be out there coaching. So you're just going to see a lot of uni unification going on here. These kids, you know, they've worked on this. And um, 
I mean, they are they they have been talking about it all week. They have been so excited, and so for me, I'm just excited for them, and I can't wait to watch them. So oh, I can't wait either. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch these kiddos, and we're just going to sit here and enjoy this, and we're going to turn things over to you, Miranda, when we get started. Five minutes on the scoreboard for each game, and what they're going to do is the two winners will then meet up, and we'll do it all over again. But like I said before. These kids to come out here and do this, they're all going to be winners tonight. They're all winners Absolutely. anyway. Yeah. And we're just blessed to be able to bring this to you at home, wherever you may be watching. Yes. So to tell you guys a little bit um, about Unified Champions, um, Unified Champions is where students of all abilities play sports together in an inclusive manner. Um, back in October, uh, we actually had a cornhole tournament. It was the first thing that the kids had kind of done. Um, I worked with them and kind of showed them how to throw the beans, uh, the bags, and uh, get it through the hole. And they, oh man, the student body, to watch them come together and um, to, to cheer, to just cheer their peers on. It was just, the environment was just so good. It was so positive. It was just so awesome. Um, and that's something that we're hoping to be, you know, annual. We're going to, we're going to hope to carry that on and do that every year. Um, we work towards a, building a climate of acceptance among all students and staff. And these kids have been so receptive of that. Um, through Unified Champions, our school, um, we offer whole school engagement, uh, unified sports, uh, inclusive uh, youth uh, leadership. So these kids aren't only just learning how to be uh, unified, they're learning leadership skills. And, you know, that's so important going on after high school. Um, to, to be really to just be successful it's so awesome what i like I just about this I, i'm lost in this because oh man, no i know <laughs> each time a basket goes in the fans go nuts and it just thrives these kids even more so fun to watch oh. to sit back and just be a part of this and yes. watch it it's great they are i mean these kids i just i'm just so I guess I don't have the words. I get lost every day being able to come out and work with these kids every day. It's just so awesome. If you're having a bad day, you're watching this, this puts a smile yeah, on your face. Yeah, rewind this. Really does. Save it, rewind it, watch it later. It you absolutely know, these, does. You know, and I think we, this is, this is stuff that we need to see. You absolutely. Know? I think, absolutely. I think sometimes we, you know, we get caught up in all the stuff that's, you know, can can bring us down, and this stuff, this will bring you up real, I mean, it really will. Look at this monitor right here. It's pretty cool to watch both oh, games yes, at the same I time. Oh, yes, I know. I love it. Tim's done a phenomenal job getting this all. There you go. Yeah. Big bucket there. Oh, my gosh. I mean, both ends. They are just. They're lighting it up. This is awesome. I love it so what much. What I like about this is you've also got basketball players. The coaches out there, they're all cheering them on. These are actually not basketball players. No, I'm talking about the uh, I'm talking about the lady mules yes, who are out the, there helping the, them. Yes, that yeah. are refing right, and, yeah. and coaching. Yes, these yeah. the so the lady basketball players they are out. They're helping us ref. Um, they're out hel helping coach these um, these girls. They work with the kids um, throughout the, the throughout the year, um, and they I mean. It's just awesome to see, you know, the unification amongst all of them. Absolutely. I tell you what, these, just watching them play, watching the fans get behind them, they're all on their feet, oh, the yeah. student section. I mean, they're a part of something special here tonight for sure. Oh. Thought that was going to go I in. I did for too. A I thought, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, under two minutes to go here in this first round. I have no idea who's yes. actually winning on the scoreboard. It doesn't matter, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I know the student section is going are, nuts over there. They are just so um, real quick. I do want to put in there yes. um, one of the things that you know we we really uh, promote is inclusion. Next week is actually um, inclusion week. Um, Wednesday is actually uh, a day that we promote um, stop the word. Um, and so the kids will come in. They'll be able to get bracelets and um, stickers. And we're just going to promote inclusion and kindness all week. 
and you know I got to do this because you know this this is my team right. this is my kids any any contributions that anybody wants to make to these kids you know they can always contact me here at the high school or they can get a hold of Miss Randolph or just really anybody and and they will get you in the right direction anything helps um, that money goes towards um, getting these kids uniforms um, equipment um, we are needing some cornhole boards they were pretty rough on them when we played back in October and uh, so that's Oh, I'm sorry. You go no, ahead. No, I was. I got wrapped up in watching yeah, I'm just them play. At, <laughs> I'm like you. I'm just. I'm just amazed what this looks like. This is so cool to watch. And we really, we're wanting to make this be. You know, we, we're wanting to make this be a yearly thing. We actually had this scheduled back um, before all the winter weather had right. kind of came through, and so we had to reschedule. And we really appreciate um, Coach Keith uh, working with us and, and rescheduling it for us because this is so important. What is so cool, Miranda? I see people on the catwalk. They're on their They've feet. got their phones yes. out. They're recording it. Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah, hands are in the air. They are cheering. I just love it. And this is what this is all about. It is. Oh, I'll all give right. a standing yes. ovation. Absolutely. Yes. Awesome job. That's awesome. Even the Sykeston fans oh, on yes. their feet. There you go. Everybody standing up here tonight. So now Dave Williams, he's got the distinct honor of trying to figure out who's going to move on. <laughs> yeah. Because I have no idea. I'm not sure either. Looks like Coach Lack is out there. She's trying to figure it out with the refs over there. Tim, we might be able to go back to one camera. I think we're going to do just one game. Gotcha. Okay, I okay, didn't know if you yeah. knew that or not. So it looks like blue team is going to advance. And the green team and maybe? And the that? green team. Yep, I'm, I'm yep. looking. I think blue team and green team is going to advance. They may just be swapping you know and what? let them I like, both play I like at that the same idea. time. I, I, I think that's awesome. That's a great idea. So, yes, to answer your question, Eric, it looks like that maybe everybody's going to get to play another game. That's awesome. That's, yes, let's do that. Yep, I think that. Oh, yep. Here they go. They're gonna. They're gonna bring them out here. And I love that. Swap sides. So yep, never mind. I love that. Never mind, Tim. We need that camera back. My apologies. That's awesome. Let's do both one more time. The fans are into it here tonight. Oh, There's yeah. no doubt I about just it. Love it. If you walked in this gym having a bad day, I can promise you now. Your bad day just got a lot better. We're still working. <laughs> still working the kinks out here. Yeah. And like I said, you know, this is our first year doing this, and you know, we we're learning as as much as well as the students go. You know, we've got awesome staff here, and you know, awesome students, and they're doing they're doing great. All Absolutely, right. there's yes. the first bucket right there. Oh. I tell you what, this uh, green team down here, I'm telling you, they're going to get some buckets here. I can already sense it. Oh, that one almost man, went that in. That one almost went in, yeah. The, just the, 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 team, te the team spirit and just the inclusion, you know, that's, that's, that's what we strive for with these kids and, and trying to build with them. And I mean, they just do, they do great. They really do. They really do. And you hit on this a moment ago. Uh, real quick, uh, once again, if anybody out there who is watching this are going to go back and watch this, if they want to help these kids out, once again, how can they do that, Miranda? Yeah, so um, they can get a hold of me at the high school. Um, my name is Miranda Huddleston, um, or you can get a hold of uh, Jenny Randolph. Um, any contributions that they make, um, that goes towards uh, purchasing um, uniforms or equipment. So kind of like what I mentioned earlier, we had a cornhole tournament uh, for these kids back in October. And um, they uh, were pretty rough on the boards. Um, you know, they got excited, and it was a full day of a cornhole tournament. And um, so we're definitely in some need of some boards. 
Um, we're looking at uh, trying to get bocce ball. Have you ever heard of bocce I've ball? I've never heard of that. Oh, you no. got to look it up. These kids are so excited um, about trying to uh, learn bocce ball. Uh, so that's something that we're going to try to get started. Um, we're looking at maybe trying to get a bowling league started. Um, you know, but all of that stuff that, you know, that takes money. And um, so any, any amount uh, works. And so we're really excited. But the big thing here is, you know, these kids, they don't need fancy equipment. Right. You know, they just they just like to go out and, and be a part and play. And, you know, we make it work. Absolutely. And I love what we're seeing right now. By the way, for those of you that are watching us on Facebook and YouTube, we are going to be introducing our radio audience now here in just a moment as we've got 41 seconds left in this one. I love it because people are still got their video phones out. They've got their videotape in this. There you go. Big yes. bucket on the right side here. And I appreciate you. Oh, uh, absolutely. I, I do. I appreciate you doing this for us. Um, these kids were pumped whenever they said that you were going to, uh, or when I told them that it was going to be uh, live streamed on Facebook. Um, they, I mean, they were excited just about as much as they were, you know, getting to play tonight. So. Well, I tell you what, we are live here in Poplar Bluff. I'm Frankie Castile, Miranda Huddleston here as we're wrapping up here. The United Champions, and I tell you what, what a great atmosphere. Nice job. They deserve one more standing ovation for sure tonight. These kiddos, man, they did great. So glad that we were able to uh, live stream this opportunity. And I told you, this just brightened up my whole day. Thank it you really so did. much. Yeah, uh, it, I'm glad that you know we are we were able to do this. And like I said, thank you again to Coach Keith for allowing us to do this. Um, we really appreciate it. Absolutely, so. Miranda. Anything that we can do in the future to get the word out, please don't hesitate. Give us a call. We're all about yes, this. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You betcha, you. Miranda Huddleston here joining us live here tonight. United champions. What a great atmosphere. For those of you just tuning in on the radio side of things, this is the, re the reason why we were a little bit late going back to the radio was because we had a three-on-three -three Special Olympics here, two ball games, and it was a lot of fun, and there was no way to do it on the radio. We didn't have names, so we just did it on video only. It was a lot of fun. I encourage you to go back if you can. Rewatch this on Facebook and on YouTube. It was honestly a lot of fun. And a big shout out once again to Tim Hicks. He did a phenomenal job getting the camera set up to where we were able to uh, live stream not one, but two different games. We appreciate him as always. Joining us here in just a moment, we're going to be joined by the head coach of the Mules, head coach Will Dirt, and there he goes. He's walking over here now. We'll let him get mic'd up, and we'll go to him. First things first, coach, if you're having a bad day, you come out here and see these kiddos, the United Champions, it'll put you in a pretty good mood after seeing that. Man, it's just watching those kids have the joy of just being out there in front of a crowd is, is nice to see. I mean, it. If that can't put a smile on your face, and I don't smile a whole lot, but uh, it did tonight. What I like about what we witnessed is the catwalk was full of standing room only. People had their phones out. I mean, these kids, they took a crowd. Even the Sykeston crowd, they got into it as well. You know, we uh, we watched a lot of the buddy ball thing, and that's always pull a good crowd. Yes. There's a lot of support with that. It was kind of neat to see this uh, happen at, you know, another time of the, the year. So uh, definitely a good experience for them. A lot of the first time, a lot of these kids first time doing that, and I think they got a, a kick out of it. Let me tell you, I want to go back to last night first off, Coach. How many times in your coaching career can we say we put up 81 points? We looked good last night, Coach, shooting 48%, coming up a little bit short. But the way <laughs> we played against Park Hills, I know it's been the flavor this season. you got to be proud of the boys, though. They did a remarkable job last night, they, I thought. You know, it, it – it, it could go one way or the other. The kids can be super frustrated and, and just down on themselves, playing against great competition night in and night out. But, you know, these kids are embracing it and they're going out there and competing. We knew what we had coming in, but we wanted to challenge the kid. And, you know, sometimes it hadn't been on the – we're not on the right side of the wind column, but, I mean, the kids are keep competing and they're still excited to come in and practice every day. So, as a coach, that's all we can ask for. What did you guys talk about last night following the game on the way home last night? I still feel like that we have still yet to see our best basketball, and I still feel like if everything goes our way, 
we're going to make a pretty deep run next week, Coach. You know, the thing is, we keep talking about taking down the kids. Uh, this is just a buildup. You know, there's three parts of the season. There's the actual preseason. You know, well, this we call this the preseason well, right here. This is the buildup. Yeah. And then the real season comes next week. I mean, all, all the uh, – the records are 0-0. Zero, zero. Everybody's going in fresh, and that's what we're looking for. We've, we've done the groundwork. We've competed all this year. You know, we're going in fairly healthy. We just want to compete and, and just extend the senior season. After 11 years of coaching, 11 years of broadcasting your games, we do a horrible job of color coordination. Last <laughs> night you're wearing the white pullover. Tonight the black. I wore black last night, and I wear maroon tonight. <laughs> we do a horrible job of doing this. Yeah, I, this is the only <laughs> shirt I had clean. <laughs> so tonight we're going to turn our attention to the Bulldogs here. The last time we faced off in the Bulldogs, 15-point win by the Bulldogs. Oh, by the way, we still put up 74 points. Yeah, they, you know, they're, they're a team of runs. They, they, they're physical, and they like to get out and press. And uh, you got to withstand that runs. And, and, you know, you hate to use this term, but you, you got you to gotta hit back. Uh, you don't just sit there and take those punches. You got you to attack first and, and, and take care of the ball. And, and that's what we got to do tonight. I mean, you know, Sykes and they're a good team. They're well coached. I mean, he's been there doing it for a long time, been winning a lot of games year in and year out, and they're just – they're, they're, they're a tough team to play against. So, you know, this is what we've been competing against all year. And, you know, regardless, we're going to come out here and give it our all and, and see what we got. I'm being told by our New York offices they're also a state-ranked team as well. <laughs> How do they pull that off That's again? been another theme of the season, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, this has been your team. I know it's not gone your way so far. But talk about the injuries right now. I feel like we're pretty healthy, right? Yeah, we got a guy that's under the weather. Uh, today he, he, he's not going to play, but uh, you know he'll be ready next week. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're fairly healthy. We got a couple of days of rest and recruit and reset, so uh, we we feel pretty good going into in the district. I know what you're going to say: fill the middle, play defense. But to beat Sykes in the night, coach, what's it going to come down to? We got to get back on defense. <laughs> we 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 got to get back on defense and take care of the ball. By the way, congratulations, halves off to the JV team. They've had an unbelievable season. They fought back like you wouldn't believe earlier here tonight. They were so fun to watch this year as well. Yeah, it's the thing. Like the the, the whole the whole group from top to bottom this year. You even go and watch the seventh and eighth grade. All those teams, those kids competed. And, and you can see some of the joy in those kids when they played. And, and at the end of the day, that's all we want. We want these kids to enjoy the experience. Not all kids are going to go and get to play on another level, but right. you want them to enjoy when, when they're here. So, you know, when they talk about, man, we played this kind of schedule and, and this is what we did. I felt like we competed every day and it's going to help them in life. Final game of the regular season, final home game of the regular season. Why not get a win? Why not? Let's go do it, Coach. Right, Thank you so much, it. my All friend. Right. Coach Will Durden does a great job with our Mules basketball <laughs> team. Love having him on. Class act all the way under 13 minutes until we tip off. It is the Mules. It is the Bulldogs. We're coming right back in just a moment. We are live in Popper Bluff. You're watching and listening to Mules basketball on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. All right, so we are back here live in Poplar Bluff, and let's talk about who we believe are going to be the starting five here tonight. We're going to start with the Bulldogs out of Sykeston, Missouri. The Bulldogs here tonight, they are coming in ranked number ninth in Class 5. They are 18-7 and seven overall. They are offensively averaging about 72 points on offense, giving up around 58 on defense. They are entering tonight's game with a record of 18 and 5, or make that 18 and 7. Conference record is 3 and 4. 
And by the way, their last district championship game was back in 2020 and 2021. They're being coached by Greg Hollifield. He is in his 25th season as the head basketball coach. He's got a winning record. Get this, Tim. 475 to 197, a winning percentage of 707. They are coming in, the away team, and his assistant coaches are Brian James, Chris Sarakis, and Will Hollifield. Off the bench here tonight for the Bulldogs. Number four, Ben James, a 5'9 freshman. Also, number five, Kobe Thomas, a 5'10 freshman. And number 30, Q. Marie Gray, a 6'2 senior. Those are the starting, or I should say first off the bench. Now looking at the starting five for the Bulldogs. We believe it's going to be a heavy dominated sophomore class. Boy, that's scary right there. One senior, one junior, three sophomores. Number zero, Tristan Wiggins, a six foot sophomore. Also, number one, Dontrez Williams, a five, three, or make that six three junior. Also, number two, Chris Artis, a six foot one sophomore. Number 23, LaCron La McCray, a six foot one sophomore. And number 24, Creighton Sarakis. He is a 5'10 senior. Those are the starting five and the first off the bench for the Bulldogs out of Sykeston. And now taking a look at the Popper Bluff Mules. Let's talk about them here. The Mules coming into tonight's game. Well, they've got a record of 9-14 and 14 overall. Their conference record is 3-4 and four as well. And they have last won a district title back in 2020, 2021. By the way, Mules offensively averaging 64 points on offense. Defensively, they are giving up 66 points. And they've got some big wins here this year. They've beaten Marion, Illinois, Dexter twice. Also, they've beaten Hillcrest, Waynesville, Kennett, Notre Dame. They've had some close battles here this season as well. Like to Ledoux, lost in double overtime by five points. They were ranked in the top five as well. They've also lost against Joplin, a six-point loss there. They were state-ranked. Also, Webb City, they lost against them. They were state-ranked. McCracken County, that game stayed very close all the way through to the fourth quarter. Mules have been in pretty much every ball game so far this season. They're being coached by Will Durden. He is completing his 11th season as the head basketball coach. He's got a record of 165 to 114, a winning percentage of 591. His assistants, they include Aaron Duncan and Dominique Hardeman. Mules are going to be the home white jerseys here tonight with the maroon trim and the maroon numbering. Let's go over the first off the bench here tonight for the Popper Bluff Mules. We believe at number one, Isaiah Neville. He is a six foot one junior. Also tonight getting off the bench will be number 13, Preston Moore. He is a six foot four junior. Also here tonight, number 33, Jack Scott. He is a six six senior. Looking at the starting five right now, here's who we believe it's going to be. We believe it'll be one junior, one sophomore. Make that two juniors, one sophomore, two seniors. Number two, Darius Graham, a six foot junior. Number three, Gavin Rivers, he is a six foot four senior. Also tonight, number 10, Torrance Williams, a six foot five junior. Number 14, David Durbin, he is a six two senior. And number 30, Brendan Durden, a six foot sophomore. And number, or make that number Get yeah, number 30, Brendan Durden. He'll be the fifth starter tonight, a six-foot sophomore for the Popper Bluff Mule. So there you go. Those are the starting five here tonight. I tell you what, TJ, it looks like it the way Sykeston's come out in their warm-ups. He's asking about the Harlem Globetrotters. I tell you what, they pass like they are for sure. Oh, I see John Scott making his way. He always waits to the final minute, it seems like. He'll walk up the stairs, and he does some handshaking and kisses babies and shakes some hands, and he'll walk over here, and uh, he'll pick up a mic, and uh, if he ever gets over here, that is, and we'll get ready for some high school basketball. Final timeout of the pregame coming up. We've got your starting lineups, official lineups. We've got the national anthem. Tip-off is coming up in about six minutes. 
You're watching and listening to Mules Basketball on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Breathe easier and extend the life of your HVAC system plus fewer repair bills with Air Solutions Comprehensive Maintenance Plan. You'll save money and get the peace of mind that only comes from calling Air Solutions, 785-1500. Want a career and not just another job? It's waiting for you at Briggs & Stratton. Great pay, great benefits, and continuing education. Everything you and your family deserve. Go to careers.basco.com and look at Poplar Bluff job openings. Christian Automotive and Tire. Quality name brand tires that you know and trust. They also have ASC certified mechanics that have the training, tools, and knowledge to fix your vehicle right the first time. Business 67 South and Poplar Bluff. All right, so we are back under five minutes now until we tip off here tonight between the Mules and the Sykeston Bulldogs. Going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait for this one to begin. And coming up here in just a moment, we will have the official lineups as well as tip off coming up here tonight for the Popper Bluff Mules and the Sykeston Bulldogs. And joining me right now, he is the second member of the broadcast team. It is John Scott. Want to welcome him back to our booth here tonight. So glad to have you alongside, John. Is everything good to go? I'm going to tell you right now, John. Hang on. We're going to put you on camera. All right. He's ready. Uh oh. I mean, so we're going to be on camera. Now, I ask you here for a reason. We've got one. about four minutes. Yes. And I want people watching us right now on social media, YouTube. I got a few things I want to say to you. First off, tonight it is our last broadcast. I haven't told you yet. It's our last <laughs> broadcast on Facebook and YouTube as far as basketball season because next week we start districts. It is also a bittersweet end to John Scott and I being behind the mics together in a special reason, in a special way. Tonight marks our final broadcast on Facebook and YouTube as you as the president of the school board. I know you're going to be on there until April but we'll have no more ball games on Facebook and YouTube on basketball. You're not a big baseball kind of guy. We know that. But <laughs> We got a better – I, I want to say that. What I did want to say, though, <laughs> what I do want to say, though, seriously, guys watching right now, this guy right here, big reason why we're able to do this, and I mean this, without his encouragement, without him supporting what we have done, there's no way we can do this every single ball game. John, appreciate everything you've done for me in my career. I'll never forget it. And you've been such a huge friend to have. And I'll miss the hell out of you. Thank you, Frankie. You know, we, say it, we said it before, but other people are listening. I know. I didn't know you at all. I knew of you. Heard you on the radio. We met here in this gym during COVID times, and we had a need. The people had a need to listen and be able to watch these games. And we talked about it, and we made it happen, man. And without you guys, all these cameras and all these screens and all this time that you guys put in to make this run flawlessly, for the benefit of families who get to watch their kids play. It's been a great thing, Frankie. It came together nicely. I would love to take credit. Oh, I will take credit. No, I would love to take credit, but it came together nicely. You guys have done an excellent job, and I hope that you continue to do this for years to come. As long as that voice, that golden throat hangs on and a green drink keeps throw, flowing, I hope you're able to do it. And Tim on the cameras, it's excellent, Frankie, and I get comments every day all the time from people all around who have an opportunity to watch sports when they wouldn't otherwise you know, get to. And, and honestly, a big shout-out to the other board members, too, because you had to go to them and get their support, and I think everybody agreed it was a big need that we needed in Popper Bluff. And then on a night like tonight, we got to witness United Champions get out here. Tim had a great double shot of the games going on, and without our Popper Bluff Board of Education, this would not be going on, and people at home who couldn't make it out they wouldn't be able to see that either. Uh, Frankie, that was something. I knew I knew that was going to happen, and, you know, you hear it's going to happen. But to see, to see that, Frankie, man, I tell you what, I'm getting old. I'm getting sentimental in my old age because that, that bring a tear to your eye. Those kids had so much fun, and the crowd with a standing ovation, that was really nice to see. It's people the kind of were, thing that warms your heart, Frankie. People were taking videos, and they were cheering. And, oh, by Lord. the way, as a token of my appreciation, <laughs> 
<laughs> I've got the green drink for you <laughs> right here live on camera. <laughs> we got green All drink yours. later. Next time we go to Joplin, green drink's on me. But seriously, thank you so much hey, for everything. Thank you, Frankie. Friendship means a lot to me. You, it really does. Appreciate you. We're going to get ready for some high school basketball now. John Scott does a great job. We're so honored to have him on the broadcast. And I tell you what, he ain't going nowhere. I'm not going <laughs> to let him go anywhere. He may think he's going to be retiring soon. <laughs> But he's not getting away that I'm simple. I'm going to have to come up with a new routine. A I new think. routine. New, new We're going to go down courtside. We're going to play our national anthem. John may sing our Chinese anthem, too. Here we go. <laughs> Russian. <laughs> nope. of our national anthem. I didn't know Colt Manning can sing like that. <laughs> good Lord, thank you. That's good. It's been a good night so far. That was great. Absolutely a great rendition there. All right, so we are ready for some high school basketball. Let's get it done. If you're watching us right now on social media, let us know where you're watching and what team you're going for. Up first is a Tristan Wiggins. Here comes the big man, Don Trez Williams. Chris Artis. Number 23, Laquarian McCray. And also out there is number 24, Creighton Sorakis. So there he is. The Sykeston Bulldogs wearing the red jerseys, white trim, and the white numbering. Those names I remember now, you say them. I'm like, oh, I remember those. Names. Oh, I remember them too. <laughs> We're going to hear a few they of those. They scored 89 on us. <laughs> I know. Here we go. Darius Graham is going to get the start here tonight. There is Gavin Rivers. Let's go, Gavin. Also going to get the start, David Durbin wearing number 14. Also, Brendan Durden and Jeff Scott to round out. The five starters here tonight. We also have our officials here tonight. The officials tonight, they include James Martin, Robert Rosen, and Nathan Sanders will be the officials here tonight. And by the way, coming up here in just a little while, We've got some big news on Zoe Freeman, baby, a big wrestler for the Lady Mules. Oh, absolutely, and my man Lucas Robinson. That's right. Here we go. John Scott, Tim Hicks, I'm Frankie Castile, John Trez Williams, Gavin Rivers. No way. That was too quick. <laughs> Gavin Rivers didn't even jump. Trickeration there. Yolanda Sykes Clark, she is tuning in, and she says, let's go, Gavin. Here we go. We are underway, now it goes to the Bulldogs out of Sykeston. Now Dontrez Williams kicks it outside. McCray back around to Artis. 
Artis now looking around. Here comes Wiggins back outside to Artis. He'll drive the lane. It goes up, and we get yet again another foul. By the way, tonight if we get 10 fouls, we'll hold a state record for more fouls in a year. <laughs> That's right. We're going for the record. <laughs> fouls and turnovers. State record. <laughs> fouls and turnovers, frankly. Keep that average up there. Brendan Durden going to get called for the personal foul. Chris Artis will go to the free throw line. That first one is up, and it is good. By the way, I was going to supposed to tell you something. Last night, Grandma Jackie was listening. She heard you say she was going to be 90, <laughs> and she thought that was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> right on. Poor old uh, poor old Crystal. Misty. No, Misty. I was going to say Crystal. Good Lord. Yeah, Frankie. you were going to say a, Crystal. It's been a long week, Frankie. <laughs> Two nothing to score now. The Bulldogs quickly down the floor, and the Mules, if they're going to be successful, they're going to beat that press. They've got to beat the press here. Sykes and does it like nobody else. Crick, Greg, Hall of Field, a Hall of Fame coach. Durden for three. This one is no good. Gavin Rivers, oh, Ooh. what a good back behind the, the back pass. Jack Scott with the offensive rebound, and it's going to be in the corner. A little bit of a block there. Have to get a little bit further up on that one. I noticed the Soxton coach is not all dressed to the nines tonight, so no, he may not be expecting. Not. Usually he wears a suit. Or sometimes he wears a suit, I should say. Well, that was a good move. Good job there by the Mules now. Quickly. It is a 4-0 lead, and we're going to get yet again another foul. That was Jack. He was out of place on that one. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you so much. I'm going to eat this here in just a moment. I guarantee it. <laughs> another foul. This one going to be on Jack Scott here. First one is up, and it is good by McCray. It's 5-0 now. Boy, Miranda Huddleston hooking me up with an awesome cupcake. Appreciate that. I wish I ate sweets. 5-0. McCray misses the free throw, but the offensive rebound by Dontrez Williams. Another foul. This one is going to be on David Durbin, I believe. Cameron Huddleston is tuning in tonight. Plays for Twin Rivers, by the way. We've said that name a few times this year already. Dontrez Williams knocks down the free throw. It is quickly a 6-0 lead to begin the ball game right now, John. No problem, Frankie. We like to give him a little bit of a spot. Preston Moore comes in for the first time. Boy, he has had a, a very successful season. Dontrez Williams knocking down both of them. 7-0 now, Mules trail by seven early. Preston Moore now, good double team by the Bulldogs. Wide open three, it's no good by Gavin Rivers. What a rebound by Dontrez Williams, and that's one thing the Mules are going to have to do is get in rhythm. Don't want to get down by too much early against the Bulldogs. Sorakis from downtown, it's no good. And a rebound by Darius Graham. So Graham, he'll push the tempo, and we're going to get a whistle here and a foul on Sorakis. And that is their first personal foul. Believe the Mules might be seven fouls away from an all-time record. <laughs> That's right. They're on the countdown. <laughs> Inbound play is no good. And a good rebound there as the Durden could not get that shot to go down. Wiggins had the offensive re or the rebound rather. Artis misses the shot. Here comes the Mules now. Gavin Rivers. Oh, what a handoff to Preston Moore, and he'll draw the contact. So quite a few fouls in the first two minutes, John. Five so far, three for the Mules, two for Sykeston. Not much flow to this game, though, so far. We need to make some points. Good to see Preston get out there. He needs to sink these free throws right here. Get a little flow going. We'll be all right. Absolutely. Preston Moore, first one. Boy, he struggled last night, too, from the free throw line. He missed four of them, uncharacteristic, and then misses one right here tonight. I can guarantee you he'll work on that free throw. One of the hardest working kids on this team. All summer long worked hard on his game, and you can certainly tell that. Good example of how good hard work in the offseason pays off. Second one is no good. Going to be out of bounds. Should be out of bounds on Williams. Oh, they're going to say Gavin Rivers. Boy, that's not... That one is questionable. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I saw. I don't know. I thought Williams may have touched that last. Travis Gowan says, let's go Mules. 7-0 run to begin the ball game right now. McCray, no shot. No good on the shot. Darius Graham got the rebound. 
Graham, oh, it's going to be blocked. Graham thought he had a wide open shot there. And Dontre, there you go. Mules finally get on the board. On the other end, though, the Bulldogs right now, they quickly come right back the other way. Well, it's actually quick up and down the court. Man, Sorakis the other way. Another big shot there by the Mules. Nine to four now the score. There is getting his stroke down a little bit. He really is. Tell you what, this Mules team down by five points right now. Nine to four the score. This Mules team, they do not know the word quit. Oh, they will not quit. William's know. shot is short. Graham got another rebound. Graham, spin move inside the paint, and it's not going to fall. This kid is so athletic. It's going to be a foul on Dontrez Williams. Each team with three personal fouls here in the opening quarter. Darius Graham going to go to the free throw line here tonight. He is shooting 70% this year, John. 63 out of 90. Oh, you jinxed him right there. You opened your big mouth and he uh, jinxed him. He shot a lot of free throws, and it's a good example, good coaching point for the team. Uh, that You know, you look at a percentage and add 10% to the team percentage, that's a lot of points. It is. That'd get him a couple more wins for sure. At Second least. free throw is up, and it's good this time. 9-5, to five, now the score. Four-point lead. So now we'll see Wiggins one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, good job by Darius Graham. Nearly had a steal. I'm supposed to do something here tonight. We'll see if I get the opportunity to do it. Tarak gets for three, no good. Darius Graham with a big rebound. Oh, what a move inside. A couldn't oh. finish. Gavin Rivers' shot is no good. He was wanting the alley-oop, but he, he was. threw him off a little bit. McCray outside to Wiggins for three. It's no good. Another offensive rebound by Williams. Williams shot this time in the paint is up and good. 11 to five to score. Boy, Saxton is so big, so physical, so fast. Pretty disciplined team, too well coached. Isaiah Neville going inside, lays it up. It's no good. Somehow Darius Graham got the rebound. Graham outside to Preston Moore. Moore spins, goes up top. No good. Mules right now, they can't buy a bucket. Dontrez Williams. Williams going to be taken away by Gavin Rivers. Rivers nearly stole it, or nearly lost it, rather. Good heads-up play by Gavin Rivers. And we're going to see Roberson coming in the ball game now for David Durbin on the other end. Tristan Wiggins and LaQuarian McCray. Morgan McCauley checks out, or checks in, rather, as well as Harrison Arndt. Preston Moore also takes a seat for the Mules, and Jack Scott back in. Gavin Rivers for three. It's no good. And the rebound going to be taken by Harrison Arndt, who just checked in. Artist now back out to Harrison Arndt. He is lethal from outside. He can shoot the three ball. Good backdoor pass to Sorakis. It is up and good. Good nice backdoor cut. Nice off the cut. glass, you know. That was. Nice off shot. 13 to five. Mules down by eight. Roberson, what a move! Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's <laughs> trying to get Tim's attention. He didn't even pay attention. <laughs> I was kidding. He's not even laughing over there. Not even paying attention. It's only funny if he's paying attention. Gavin Rivers now. Roberson pull up jumper is no good. And we're going to get a whistle here and a foul coming up. Over I thought back. it was going to be on Sykeston. It is. Yeah, I will take that call. It's going to be on Dontrez Williams, I believe, and that's number two on him. Mm, it might have been over the back. Yeah, it was over the back. Oh, they're going to call that one on the Mules. Yeah, it was, it was oh, close. It was iffy. Right. We got to get that home, Frank. We never get a home call. They're going <laughs> to call that like one to me. on Isaiah Neville, so I stand corrected. Mules they should let you ref the game, fouls. Frank. You can ref it and call it at the same time. I can do stats, too, while we're at it. <laughs> Three-point basket. Oof. Oh, what a move by McCauley. Wide open. And it is quickly a 16-7 score. So now the Mules, Brendan Durden checking back in for the Mules. Also, Roberson, he stays in the game as well. Gavin Rivers for the Mules also in. 
One thing about Saxton, they can sub in very quickly. McCauley's back in. Oh, what a move by Roberson. A big three-point basket. 16 to 10 now the score. And a quick turnover there by the Bulldogs and Popper Bluff back in it. So now on the other end, Wiggins out to Williams for three. It's no good. Good rebound at that time by Durden. And we're going to get a whistle here and a foul coming up on the Bulldogs. Very fast pace here in the early going. You know, two possession game, shooting free throws. Really, that seems odd. It seems like, it seemed like they're beating us more than that, but we can play with this game. We just got to settle down a little bit, get our feet under us. Roberson, free throw is up and good. He's already got six points here in the ball game. 100% from the line tonight, right? That's right. Roberson, that is. That's right. <laughs> Kevin on Rivers, that one. <laughs> Isaiah Neville takes a seat. Darius Graham back in the ball game, as is at David Durbin. Second one is up, and it's no good by Roberson. Rebounded by Wiggins. McCauley now kicks it outside to Siracus. Gray also checks in for the first time for the Bulldogs. 1.49 to play here in the first quarter. It is a 16 to 11 ball game. Mules down by five early. Well, Saxon passes it well. They run a good motion offense. Very patient with the ball. McCauley outside to Sorakis. A quick release. It's no good. Rebounded by David Durbin. Here comes Roberson now. Roberson double teamed. Finds Darius Graham. He's open. Oh, what a good spin move. This one a little bit short offensive rebound by Roberson. Put it up and score, baby. <laughs> Automatic. <laughs> Going to get crazy here tonight. <laughs> That's right. We're going out Gotta in style. Blow it out. We're going out in style, Frankie. Three-point basket by the Bulldogs. No good by Wiggins. Look at the rebound there by David Durbin. Roberson now pull-up jumper. It is no good. A little bit strong. You thought he had that offensive rebound there for a moment. On the other end, oh, we're going to get David Durbin. Take the hairband off and throw it down. Yeah, that's two on him, but that's You've not a terrible enough. foul. That was going to be a layup. David's really played hard his whole career. Every play, you know, he, gets, he draws the hard defensive uh, assignment usually because he sticks to him like this or that. Preston Moore back in the ball game now for the Mules. 49 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Chris Artis for three, money. Mm. Mm. Saw that one going down. He's got five points here in the ball game. 19 to 13, back to a six point game. So now the Mules, all they got to do is quickly just, now there's a good steal. This one by Artis. And a quick two more points now for the Bulldogs. 21 to 13 the score with 18 seconds left. Not a problem, Frankie. Very confident. We come back. We'll keep saying that. <laughs> David Durbin now outside. Darius Graham. And this one is no good. That would have been huge. Here we go. Here we go. Pressing. Here we go. Rebound. Yes, yes sir. And counted. And the foul. 21 to 15 to score. There you go, big fella. Did they? Oh, they're not. Are they going to call a foul? Or, no, they're not. Okay, 21 to 15 to score. It. He wanted it. I thought he was going to get it. We're back in 30 seconds. You're watching live coverage of Mules basketball on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Eye Care Specialists is committed to the protection and the preservation of the precious gift of sight. Nothing is more important than your eyesight. That's the way the doctors of Eye Care Specialists see it. Protecting your toys are just as important as protecting your daily driver. First Choice Insurance can help find the coverage for your ATVs, boats, and campers that will give you peace of mind and not break your bank. So don't forget to allow First Choice Insurance to review your insurance needs today. Eight minutes to go here in the first half. Joining us once again, the man, the myth, the legend, John Scott, back with us. 
Tell you what, I was trying to do something, John Forrest. I really wanted, I, I was hoping that at some point this season, I was going to be able to get your dad up here and do a ball game with you two. That would have been so awesome to do. Yeah, that would have been nice, Frankie. I know he listens and watches when he can negative, and enjoys negative, that. Sir. No, no. He lets you know you're not on the radio. <laughs> He'll let you know. He usually has some pretty good – yeah, he lets me know when I'm not on the radio for sure. He'll want to know where I am. But, uh, no, he enjoys it, Frank. He's one of the people who gets to enjoy this and have an opportunity to see his grandson play and see the Mules play and listen to his wonderful son talk. That's right. Absolutely. Big three-point basket Oof. by McCray, and boy, that was just down at town Malone right there. 24-15. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, this game is so fast-paced. Good move there by the Mules. Gavin Rivers, he's got four points here in the ball game. We're already down the other end of the floor. Three-point basket is no good. Brendan Durden with a big rebound. I'm just running with Sykeston, man. They're so fast down the it's court. It's almost impossible to do. Three-point basket again. Oh, oh my goodness. Ouch. Don you know, Trez Williams, seven here in the ball game, and that's downtown. A 10-point ball game now. Mule's got to slow it up a little bit and play their game. Yeah, this is kind of reminiscent of last <laughs> all the way back to last night. It really is. <laughs> Brendan Durden for three. This one is too strong Oof. and hits the top of the scoreboard there. And we're going to see David Durbin coming in now for Preston Moore. McCray, also Kobe Thomas, is going to come in as well. Tell you what, this Sykeston team, man, they are so quick. By the way, I could not get that out of my mind. Last night, you said <laughs> the funniest thing about a pitching machine getting a no-hitter on you. Yeah. That was just so hilarious. That, yeah, that was my good friend Brock Littles and I were coach. I was the VP of operations, so I didn't yeah. take any blame for that. Brock was the coach. It was his fault. <laughs> it's still there by Darius Graham. I was driving home last night, and I told Tim, I said, what did he say on the air about a pitching machine? Hey, we had, I could tell you a little, little league stuff. We had a, we coached soccer, which I don't know anything about. I know more about it now, but then we didn't know anything. We didn't win a game for like, I don't know, two years or something. It was so bad the parents would get mad at us and yell at the coaches. It was great. Frankie, I loved it. Surely not. <laughs> it was wonderful youth sports down there. You know, it is wonderful down there in the spring, I mean in the fall with the OSL, perfect weather. Coaching little kids playing soccer, having a great time, and somebody reaming you because you don't practice enough. <laughs> I love it. It's great. 27-19 <laughs> the score. Ed Norton is tuning in tonight on social media. Glad to have him alongside. 46-40 or 46-61 MU. Good job there by Roberson on the steal. Darius Graham with the finish. He's got seven points. You know, six-point game, Six-point point game. You know, kind of when we talk about nothing related to basketball, they we do play better. Good. They do better. If we didn't watch the game at all, I think we'd be all right. <laughs> should turn around and look at the wall. Every time we get the ball, <laughs> look at the wall. Uh-oh, three-point basket, no good. Oh, good job there by David Durbin. You've got chili cook-off going on this weekend. I've got Memphis tomorrow. Offensive foul. Yeah. Boy, that was a delayed response, was it not? A delayed response. It was. You have to think about that one. Yeah, Frankie, Chili wow. cook off tonight. They're up there tonight getting set up, having a little party. Come on by tomorrow. Anybody wants to come by and try about 30 different types of chili. Free to the public. Donations welcome. All proceeds benefit the United Gospel Rescue Mission here in Popper Bluff. It does wonderful God's work, feeding people and housing people. I, I heard them. Captain Kirk on the yeah, radio. Yeah, he called morning. you out too. He said, you're <laughs> supposed to be there today. Good yeah, steal there by Brendan Durden. Durden now, pull up jumper, it's bang. Nice shot, that was a nice stroke. And look at the score now, Johnny Boy. Right on, Four like I game. Say, it's been proven if I watch the Missouri Tigers play, they lose, so I can't watch them. Now, now wait a minute, you're saying Missouri Tigers. I thought you told me you were a Wildcat fan. <laughs> yeah, well, depends on the Wildcat. Okay. There's probably an XFL Wildcat team I would like. I like the uh, St. Louis Battlehawks, man. They're going to be good. They got A.J. McCarron as their quarterback. They're 2-0 right now. Yeah. Check them out. So now Roberson stepped oh, out of bounds. He did out. a turnover there on the Mules. 4.07 to play first half. 
Man, we have a huge audience here tonight on YouTube. So glad to have those folks alongside. You ready for this number, Tim or uh, John? How many we got on YouTube? Ter We've got five folks watching. No, I'm kidding. We got a lot more than five. <laughs> say, well over a hundred people double watching digits? right now. We're in the double digits. We're in the triple digits. <laughs> there we go. Did you see our theme, our student uh, meal barn theme tonight, Frank? You know I, what all, it is? All I seen was uh, Bratcher with a football uniform yes. on. You don't know the you don't know the theme? I don't know the theme. It is Adam Wait. Sandler. Adam Sandler. One of the officials I thought was going to call that out on the mules that was out on Wiggins. We'll take it. Yes, Adam Sandler theme, and it's interesting how the kids interpret Adam Sandler. My daughter pulled off a pretty good Adam Sandler over there. Gavin Rivers Oops. got a shot blocked. Tell you what, these two teams are so fast. 3.33, already almost near halftime. It's hard to believe. Last and we're going to get a whistle and a foul. I believe this one's going to be on David Durbin. If That's it is three. on him, it's number three. D Dog's got three. Yeah. What'd you call him? D Dog. D Dog. Nobody calls him that except for me. But okay. he spends a lot of time at the house. He and Jack are pretty close. And he's been around since he was a little tyke. And he's no longer a little tyke, I'll tell you that. These kids will eat you. It'll eat you out of house and home, Frankie. What bothers me? You gotta hide stuff. You gotta. I mean, I gotta hide it, and you can't just hide it in a regular place. You gotta find another place to oh, hide. Oh, Yolanda, <laughs> let me tell you, darling. I think maybe I'm wrong. If I am, he'll straighten me out. But I thought maybe I'm wrong when I say this. But I thought <laughs> that John Scott told me that. He's secretly a Jayhawks fan. I'm just going to say it. That's what I was told. Yeah. My sources tell me. Yes. That's some of that fake news, Frankie. I know how it is. Fake news. <laughs> I'm a fan of the Jayhawks when they lose. Dontrez Williams, by the way, knocks down one out of two. And we're going to get a timeout here called. And it'll be a timeout. And it'll be a 30-second timeout called by the Sykeston Bulldogs. What a night here tonight. We're having so much fun. Final home game of this season. It is our last broadcast that we're going to do on Facebook and YouTube for basketball season. You, I don't know if John's going to do baseball. He, I, I don't know. Do you know baseball at all? Uh, I know there's a ball and there's some bases. There's a glove <laughs> and a bat. I know that the – the uh, concessions at Bush Stadium are expensive, and <laughs> and the parking is expensive. I like to go to a Memphis Redbirds game. That's a little more along my along my speed. Oh, no, I, I like baseball, Frankie, but I it's thought not you my were sport. going. I thought you were going with <laughs> well something else. This is a family show, Frankie, right? Isaiah Neville <laughs> dives in and gets the contact. You know, a little bit of trivia people might be interested in. There was a viral photograph of a gentleman who was at the University of Missouri basketball, the Mizzou okay. basketball game, old timers, like appreciation game. Right. And he walked out on the court and he had a shirt on that he had made himself. It had a big KU in the middle and a big slash through it. You know, like no parking, only it was no KU. And this picture went viral on Twitter. And it turned out to be Popper Bluff's very own Howard Garrett. Wow. Who used to be the assistant principal at the high school nice. back in the day. And Neville. so anyway, there you go, Frankie. That's Neville misses tidbit. the shot. Offensive rebound by Gavin Rivers. And now Rivers now in the mules. They can really do some damage now. Down by six points. Let's cut into the lead. What do you say, mules? Neville's going to lose it going out of bounds. Turnover on the mules. That'll be their fifth of the ball game. Sykeston, by the way, they've got six. Both teams are in the bonus now. Single bonus all the way for right now. Mules down by six points, 30-24. I told Grandma Jackie for her 90th birthday, which is coming up next weekend. My wife has to work next weekend, so we're going to take her out to a nice, quiet lunch here this weekend. I told her, I've got, before I leave, why are you laughing for? I'm just, I was wondering where you were going to say you were going to take gotta, her. I've got to take your picture. Lunch. I and think have, you get to hit the I, town. No. We need to go out, Frank, and hit the town. I gotta, we need to shut some places down with I gotta Grandma take, Jackie. I've got to take your picture, <laughs> and I've got to have you autograph it for her. we got to bring Misty the dog, and we got to go out, Frankie. we got to get in the car, and we got to head somewhere. Yeah, but the problem is you take Misty the dog, and she might <laughs> shut a business down. <laughs> That's what we're going to roll. We want to end up in jail. That would be a great mug shot. Grandma Jackie, Misty the dog, Frankie and me. I don't think you want Grandma and Jackie in handcuffs. <laughs> she straightened them out. She's meaner than a snake, let me tell you. Oh, what a move by Darius Graham. Misses the first opportunity. Bam. There we go. There we go, Frankie. 
Boy, this Mules team is so quick. They won't quit. Four point game at 30 26. And they withstood a barrage of threes. They really they? have. Absolutely. Sykeston right now, they are four out of 13 from behind the arc. McCauley near the free throw line Oof. gets it outside to Wiggins. Oh, Count we, it and the foul. Well, we call that foul, Frankie. We call it Chintzy. Chintzy foul. You call it Chintzy, I call it legitimate. Oh. <laughs> Chinsua. Chinsua. The, the French pronunciation. Chinsua. So McCray back in the ball game. Harrison Arndt will take a seat. I don't like that Arndt. That reminds me of that other Arndt. That kid from Jackson that's nine feet tall oh. and wears a size 30 shoe. We'll see him in a couple of weeks, and I he's bet. like 28 years old, played a Euro League. 28 years old. Played in Argentina, too. Oh, what a pass by Darius Graham. Neville's shot is no good. Right place, right time is jump ball that time as we get Marlon Hickman Roberson. Got the offensive board there for a minute, but it's going to go right back to the Bulldogs here on the change of possession. Nice to see Blaze Rowland dressed in varsity yes, here toward is. the end of the season. Good kid, good athlete. His dad was wonderful. Still probably a good athlete in It'll his old turn age. Turnover on the Bulldogs. That'll be a turnover on McCray. 1.56 to play here in the first half. It's only a six-point ball game right now. The Mules are very much alive in this ball game. Oh, absolutely. No question about it. Preston Moore, he goes coast to coast. Nobody blocks out. Nice left hand. That may get a timeout. It's going to get a timeout called. Coach Hollifield not happy what he just saw. And he'll let his team know about it. All right, we're going to come right back. Don't go anywhere. Mules are down by four on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. We are back here live in Poplar Bluff here. What did you just say? <laughs> did you say you want the snow next week on Friday? Yeah, I see some snow, Frankie. We're going to get a little bit. We usually get a little bit first of March. It's supposed to snow next week, believe it or My not. My daughter's birthday is early March, uh -oh. and there was a little bit of snow on when she was born. Almost every year we get a little skiff, at least. A little skiff. My <laughs> boss my boss would say just a little skosh. A skosh. Maybe you get to go out and drive around in it and tell us about it. I'll tune in from the warm confines of my bed with of my heavy bed. blanket on to hear how, yeah. <laughs> how the roads are. <laughs> I love it. So now the Mules, Brendan Durden back in the ball game. Here we go. Mules are down by four points. 90 seconds in the first half, and there's a quick steal by Dontrez Williams. Mules are trying to get it back. Three-point basket by McCray. Ooh. Oh, he drained it from downtown. The dagger. That is a dagger. Now it's to a seven-point ball game. The Bulldogs, like in the regular season, lead the Mules by a touchdown. <laughs> Darius Graham's shot is no good. Brendan Durden, Ooh. oh, he got rejected by Dontrez Williams. Wasn't it Sykeson where they had that death trap of a ladder we had to climb up to get on top of the deal and it wasn't even attached to anything? That would be it. Talk about liability, Lord. Oh, oh an come offensive on, man. foul again by the Mules. Hmm. It's going to be on Isaiah Neville. You had the turnover there by Bluff. Then they Hard shut the lights off on you. Remember that? Wasn't that Sykeson? Negative. Yeah. They shut the lights off on you. <laughs> That's true. That was. That's, yeah, you got a good point. Maybe it was me. I think it was you. <laughs> so now Dontrez Williams guarded by Brendan Durden. Very important now the Mules to try to figure out a way to not let the Bulldogs get points here. Darius Graham goes up and scores. He's got 11. That's the way to do it right there. Boy, Five point some, game. Such hops. Hops. He does. I don't want to brag. Oh, another steal there by Darius one. Graham. Dunk it, no. my friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On the other oh, end, so I'll tell quick. you what. So quick down the court. They Lord. come right back. 37-32 now. 14 seconds. 
Graham nearly going to have it taken away. I believe it's still going to belong to the Mules. It will. So little Coach Durden's upset. That's so difficult to try to run against Sykeston. You get a play like that, and before you know it, they're shooting a layup on the other end. Man. Tell you what, though, you got to be impressed with oh. the way Mules are playing. Oh, yeah, no, we, we fought this game back, man. No look past Isaiah Neville. No way. Blocking foul. Yes, sir. Right on. Gray going to be right called on. for the personal foul. I'll take it. John, the student section, they are saying you can't wear that. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'll take it off. <laughs> I noticed we got a, we do have a large contention of Sykeston so-called students down there. Rebel Rousers, there I say. Coach Ken Keith better get out of there. <laughs> he's going to have to bust He's, he's right by him. He's, I hope he's got his chain on somewhere. He may, <laughs> <laughs> he may need it. 37-33, <laughs> make it 37-34 now. It's a one-possession game. Boy, the Mules got to get a stop here. Don't let them score. Oh, could have been. No right. call. Coach Hollifield wasn't liking that call. But nevertheless, my boy, we've got a one-possession game. I like it. I like it, Frankie. You sticking around to halftime? I'm going to hang around. I'm, I kind of want to just get beat the crowd, but I'll stick around. We've got some breaking news that John's going to share with us at halftime. The Mules win this game. Everybody in attendance on Facebook and YouTube, a free corn dogs. We're going to a free Waffle House in Joplin, Missouri, tonight only. <laughs> We're coming right back. Everybody jump in the car. On the Southeast Signing Graphics Mules Radio Network. Kevin's Auto & Tire is a family-owned one-stop shop for fast, friendly, and affordable automotive services with the latest tools and technology as well as their time-tested automotive knowledge. They're guaranteed to get your vehicle fixed without breaking the bank. Larry Hillis is a proud sponsor of Mule Sports. Local sports, local fans, and local business. A winning combination. Patriot Auto Glass offers chip repair or glass replacement. They provide fast quality service done by experienced technicians. Ask about our veteran and first responder discounts. Call Patriot Auto Glass today at 573-840-5027. And remember, Patriot Auto Glass will come to you. Law Firm is experienced in estate planning and the preparation of documents like wills and trusts. Let the Scott Law Firm help you protect your family and pass along your estate according to your terms. Call Scott Law Firm today at 785-4688. Southeast Signs and Graphics of Poplar Bluff can handle all of your printing needs from t-shirts, wall displays, banners, and so much more. Call their team at 573-772-5566 or get to southeastsignsandgraphics.com. Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers is a third-generation family-owned jewelry and repair store who have served the Poplar Bluff community for over 60 years. Our family has always worked hard to provide the finest jewelry creations and service imaginable. So we are back here live in Poplar Bluff, and the Mules find themselves down by three points, 37 to 34 is your score. And here tonight, the Mules, they have had an up-and-down game, but, man, they are really making some strides right now, coming back. And they have done a phenomenal job here, John, in this second quarter to come back and only down by one possession pretty impressive oh it's remarkable you know the way we started out slow we've been starting slow the last season or so <laughs> but uh to get down and you know start to unravel Sykeson hits a couple of big threes gets out to a pretty good lead early on but you know what the mules will not quit one thing about a, a will Durden team is it will not quit under any circumstances and they battled back and fought back and 
slugfest with the Sykeston team up and down the court. And, uh, you know, yeah, one possession game. I, I'm happy with that considering how it started out. And uh, we got to just get right with them, go toe to toe. I think we'll come out all right. Absolutely. Here the Bulldogs outscored the Mules 21-15 there in the first quarter. The Mules outscoring the Bulldogs 19-16 at Lionel down there. What's he doing? Is he going to dance? I think he's part of the routine. I think he's part of the routine there, Tim. I'm not sure what he's doing. I think he made chicken jive. What do you think? Something's going to go down Something's here, Frankie. Something's going down. <laughs> do a backflip, Lionel. Go ahead. Or maybe not. I thought he was. I really thought he was. Yeah, I thought, or maybe, yeah, I thought he was, they were going to incorporate him into that somehow. Maybe they will. I don't know. The Sykes and Bulldogs are led by LaQuarian McCray, nine points on the night. Also, eight points by Dontrez Williams, five points by Chris Artis, four, also five by Morgan McCauley, four points by Tristan Wiggins, also by Creighton Sorakis, and two by Gray. On the other end, you look at the Mules right now. Darius Graham, what a first half he has had. 13 points overall. Eight points by Marlon Hickman Roberson. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Dave Williams down there playing some California right Rob on. in the yes, gym. He is. It's getting going now. That got me all fired up. <laughs> Coach Ken Key says, hey, knock that off. No, I'm just kidding. He's not saying that. <laughs> you know, Coach Keith always has on some nice shoes. He Frankie. does. He's got he is shoes. the best dressed guy He's that I've got ever the seen. Shoes. He's got him. <laughs> uh, four points by Gavin Rivers, three by Isaiah Neville, four also by Preston Moore, two by Brendan Durden. And i got to say right now, this is all without Torrance Williams. He is under the weather, not playing tonight, and the Mules only down by one possession. I still feel like, John, the Mules are still fighting themselves, and I think they're starting to gel at the right time. Yeah, they are, and they've played a really tough schedule. These makeup games at the end have been against really good opponents. Charleston, Park Hill, Sykeston, you know, good teams, good games. And we've played well enough to win any of these games. Right. And we've just got to put it all together and play a whole game of good basketball. And we can beat anybody, man. I truly believe that. Absolutely. You caught me drinking my drink there. <laughs> I did that on purpose. No, I'd like to say I did that on purpose. I'm I not think that you smooth. did it on purpose. Now, I will say this. We also have the potential to lose to any team. I wouldn't say that, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we my can. goodness. But, yeah, we hung 81 points against a really good Park Hills team. We've That's hung 37 hard to do. already against Sykeston. Yes, or 34 and, and that Charleston game was just a couple of possessions away. Cape got down to, what, four points. Yep. All these games, Jackson close. We've lost a lot of really close games and only had a few that got lopsided. And this team, when they're all firing and everybody's playing ball and they're playing up to their potential, we can play with any team in the state. I'm surprised that you were here tonight watching this game. I really thought you might be at the chili cook-off here tonight getting things set up and ready to go. I, I got up there early, Frankie, and I decorated our booth. I spent my co-chef, my main chef backed out on me. So I got a backup, and not really a backup because we've done it several years together. And I went up there and I told him, I said, you handle all the food and everything and I'll handle the decorations, no problem. So I went up there and I did exactly nothing. <laughs> so we, we have the minimalist approach. Uh, we may try to come up, if anybody has a like a 50 cent plastic tablecloth, plastic tape thing we could use, maybe slide by there and give it to us. Come by and get some chili. But, Frankie, it's not about the decorations, although there are some really nice decorations. Right. It's about the quality of chili, and you won't be there to taste my chili, but I it won't. will be second to none in my mind. It will win my booth. But my chili it, will win at my if booth. If it makes you feel any better, where I'm going tomorrow, I'm dreading it. I don't want to go. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. Um, I've got luxury box seats at a Grizzlies game tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to my it. My only advice would be to get there as soon as they open. I will. <laughs> Maybe line up a little before that. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna leave in the morning at about eight o'clock yes. in the morning. Go to the pyramid, maybe Bass Pro. I may yep. buy a boat. Probably well, not gonna get, buy get a boat. Come back with a big boat. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably buy me a big old bass boat, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna. Right you know, here, here's the, deal. the truth is, we uh, celebrate our wedding anniversary last Monday. I was in the gym. Valentine's Day, my Valentine's was the Dexter Bearcats. And uh, we're going to celebrate our anniversary coming up tomorrow and in Memphis, it. and it should be a lot of fun. And you've deserved that. I appreciate You've earned that. it. And uh, you'll miss out on the chili cook-off. I will. But I would say your day will be maybe just a little bit better than it would have been had you tasted 30 ch That's chilies. That's exactly <laughs> correct. We're going to go to a quick timeout. We're going to come back. Second half action is on the way next. Mules trail by one possession on the Southeast Signing Graphics Mules Radio Network. 
Caring for those you love also means taking good care of yourself. At Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center, our health care providers take the time to identify your health risks and help you prioritize good health. Regular checkups and age-appropriate screenings are important to be healthy now and stay well in the future. With same or next-day appointments and online scheduling, we make it easy to make an appointment right now. You can even see us from the comfort of your own home via telehealth. Put your health first today by making an appointment by visiting pbrmc.com and searching online scheduling. Breathe easier and extend the life of your HVAC system plus fewer repair bills with Air Solutions Comprehensive Maintenance Plan. You'll save money and get the peace of mind that only comes from calling Air Solutions, 785-1500. All right, we are coming up on the one-minute mark until the second half, and we are about ready to get started at second half action. Oh, Ron, I tell you what, I'll take you down to Memphis, my friend. You can be my personal security detail. Ron Withrow's a big fan of yours, John, although I'm not real happy because I've never been invited to your house before. No, I'm my house? I'm trying to figure out. I live on the earth, Frankie. You're invited to the earth. Just hang out, You got man. a kid behind you going to fight you. Oh, yeah. My man Quinn Little's right there, the cue ball. The cue ball. Rolling. Seventh grade phenom running the racket in the junior high league. By the way, Zoe Freeman, by the way, in the semifinals in wrestling, she could possibly win state. If that happens, it could be the first Mules to ever win state in wrestling. Oh, no kidding. That's good to know. And my man Lucas That's Robertson right. is Lucas still in the Robertson hunt. Lucas Robertson as well. Still in the hunt. Have I told you, oh, a big three-point basket there by McCray to begin the second half. So three points there by the Bulldogs. Quickly, the Mules now down the floor, nearly turns it over. Good job there by David Durbin, able to save it and keep it alive. Brendan Durden for three. It's money. Ooh, there we go. I'd like in, to see that. In the infamous words of my son, yes, sir. That's what he would say. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what he would say. I'll tell you what, Lisa, our wrestling program is absolutely top notch. Our coaches here, they take it very seriously. Coaches, volunteers, you know, it's been coming for a long time. A lot of guys my age. You know, 50-51, they really took an interest in wrestling when they were in school, and they did that for their kids, and they put together some summertime stuff and youth wrestling leagues, and we're seeing the benefits of all that now. Oof. Oh, boy, I tell another you what, three. another three-point basket there. I tell you what, this Sykeston team, they know how to get it done from behind the arc. Siracus, three-point basket Boom. again by the Mules, buries yes, it. Yes, sir. Is that the new thing now? That. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. I'll call chance. Here we go Here again. We go again. Dontrez Williams. Oof. No, sir. No. Oof. That was a big one. We're going to get a three-point contest. One. Keep we it don't want to do that. Keep it coming. We don't want to get a three-point <laughs> contest here with the Bulldogs. Shoot it. Nope. Darian, or make that Gavin Rivers could not finish the shot. Rebounded by the Bulldogs. Here we go. Dontrez Williams kicks it outside to Artis. He goes up. No good. Good rebound. I don't have that kid on my roster. Who was that? I'm not sure who that was. Might have been old Jack Scott. Might have been old Jack rebound. Scott there. I like his hair, man. I'm telling you what. Hey, I said, keep it. I've got I, to get a. I've got to get a mullet going. I told him. I said, grow it while you can. That's fine. But if you put it in the man bun, I'll do my best to try to cut it. <laughs> Kevin Rivers. I can't say I'll get it done, but I'll try. I'm pretty sure he might be able to take you. <laughs> oh yeah. I need a ladder to cut that hair. Oh, could be. Should have been a foul. Don't, not going to be a foul, but it's not going to be a, miss, a made shot either. Preston Moore going to come in now for the Mules. For Jack Scott, I'm just telling you, he's six foot six. How tall are you? Five foot nine? Yeah. Four three. Four three. My wife is four but foot nine. Friday night, I'm ten foot tall, and how's the old man Travis Tritt saying? Bulletproof. Bulletproof. <laughs> Mules down by two possessions here. Six-point game. Durden got fouled. Or is there going to be a timeout first? Maybe a timeout for the Mules. It will be a timeout called by Popper Bluff. 
It is a 30-second timeout. We'll step away with them. Mules trail by six on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Want a career and not just another job? It's waiting for you at Briggs & Stratton. Great pay, great benefits, and continuing education. Everything you and your family deserve. Go to careers.basco.com and look at Poplar Bluff job openings. All right, so we are back here live in Popper Bluff. I'm reminiscing here. I know Lisa Fister, she is tuning in right now with us. I'm reminiscing on some of the best advice you've ever given me <laughs> over the last three years. I don't think anything is going to top what you told me in Joplin last season. You get pulled over by the cops, plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a safe bet. And it doesn't matter if you get pulled over. If they show up at your house, <laughs> if you just happen to run into one of McDonald's, or <laughs> walking down the street. Best thing to do, especially for you, Frankie. You might confess it's some kind of high crime or misdemeanor. McCray with a big shot there. Eight point game again. Sykeston leads by eight. Long pass taken away by McCray. Oh, good Ooh. job there by the Mules. Getting it right back. Durbin is not going to be able to. Oh, what a good move by Preston Moore. Another block again by Dontrez Williams. Oh, Wiggins. Man, that's a bad little series there. Hmm. You mentioned Lisa, you know, we talked about before Tyler Hansborough would be her nephew. Yep. But her own sons were excellent. I'm talking about excellent wrestlers in the state of Illinois where wrestling is, well, I don't want to get some wrestler take me down later, but the further north you go, generally speaking, the better the wrestling is. And her sons, uh, Baylor and Lance, were both great wrestlers, you know, state wrestler types. And uh, her son Lance now is into jujitsu. And he's really tearing it up over there in the adult jiu-jitsu league, a place that I would never want to get close to for fear of getting pummeled by somebody. Absolutely. And then Baylor's in the Navy. Preston Moore. Now, Lisa's a veteran, too, as well. Is that Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. So. And, yes and, Love uh, our veterans for sure. Thank oh, you, Lisa, no for your amazing service. Gavin Rivers out to Preston Moore from behind the arc. Nice. It's money. Nice. Yes, sir, as he says. Bright future for Preston. 51-43 now. I had uh, on my on my radio program, what a good move by Tristan Wiggins, give Saxton two more points. The other morning on Thursday, yesterday morning, I had Casey Proctor in, Butler County Boo. prosecuting attorney. And uh, his boy is in the wrestling right oh now as well. Oh, my Lord, yeah. He'll... You know, he's Wait one of those guys. Did you just boo the prosecutor? Yes, I did boo him. Okay. He, hopefully he's listening. He probably is. You, all you got to do is ask Casey how's wrestling. He'll talk for an hour. He will. Roberson, big shot. Big shot by Roberson. He's got 10. Which is nice because sometimes I don't want to talk, believe it or not. I just want to listen. You know, him and I graduated. Maybe one of the best graduating classes in all the land. A big turnover <laughs> there by the Bulldogs in 2003, baby. Oh, that's just the other day. They were learning. 2003 learned the lingering effects of 90 was still being felt at 2003 just a little bit I was still I was still drinking out of a sippy cup in 2003 <laughs> <laughs> David Durbin works it over to Roberson now man we have a lot of fun doing this oh yeah that's good stuff Gavin Rivers now great atmosphere great time Preston Moore again this one a little bit short rebound by Gavin Rivers and the mules are going to reset Mules down by eight points. They have trailed by as many as 11 a few moments ago. Isaiah Neville going into more. We're going to get a whistle. And I believe it's going to be a foul on the floor against the Bulldogs. First foul, second half. Boy, we saw the first foul for Dontrez Williams, his third. We're going to see Darius Graham, Brendan Durden back in the ball game. Boy, Roberson, he has had a great ball game at this point. We're going to get a timeout called at this one on the Bulldogs out of Sykeston. I believe it's going to be a full timeout. It is a full timeout here by the Bulldogs. Our broadcast tonight brought to you by our good friends at Taco John's at Scott Law Group, LLC, Briggs and Stratton. Also being brought to you by Larry Hillis Dodge, Eye Care Specialist, Christian Automotive, Patriot Auto Glass, and being brought to you by Popper Bluff Regional Medical Center. Right here, right now, 
I know we don't know what the future holds for John Scott. August 24th, 2023. Will you be sitting beside us <laughs> oh, at the football games? Yeah, I might do that, Frankie. Yeah, I might. You know, we got to get through the rest of this game. And I was going to say, I think, you know, this has been a little bit of time. I've been doing this and trying to figure it out and learn and get outside my comfort zone. I don't think I've done anything illegal on the air. I don't think I've gotten you guys penalized by whoever penalizes radio stations. I guess the Wait a minute. F E C E S E. I haven't says, used any profanity. Not that I ever would, but I haven't. Who says penalized? You mean <laughs> penalized? Penalized. I haven't been penalized. You penalized. haven't been shut what? off. What I is haven't that? been canceled. And uh, so far, I've managed with a little help from Tim, giving me the thumbs down once in a while to kind of back off of some lines. But Isaiah there Neville, we go. Nice. What a big punt back that was by Isaiah Neville. Nice. So it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Lisa Fisher says, class of 81 that turns 60 this year. Our class turns 20 this year. <laughs> I was 32. told that. I was told I'm that. I'm only 32. I feel 32. Dontrez Williams, a big three, no good. Oh, what a good, oh, what a good move and a foul on Brendan Durden. Oh, baby. And a foul on the Mules, Brendan Durden. And that is going to be his third foul of the ball game. So Durden picks up his third. Two free throws coming up here for the Bulldogs. First one is up and good by McCray. He's got 15 points. And we're going to see Durden taking a seat. McCauley also is going to come back in the ball game for Siracus. Second one is up and it's good. Harrison Arndt coming in the ball game now. McCray with 16 points. 53-47 now the score. Roberson back in for the Mules. He has had a great ball game. 10 points, three boards so far tonight. And we've got a whistle here. Another foul. This one's going to be on Wiggins. And that'll be his second personal foul. Team foul number two. Each team with two personal fouls. It's weird, Frankie. It's oh, you were silenced. You were censored. Ah, you hit me. I got you it. You hit me. I Darius thought it was weird. Graham. The second half, it seems like we're playing better, but we're we losing are. ground. We are losing some ground. Oh, good move by Preston Moore. Goes nice. up, count, count it, and one. Oh, thought that was going to be an offensive foul variety. It could have gone either way, it but we'll take it, Frankie. Nice play, good work. Now we need to see this free throw go down. He's due. He's going to be 100% on this free throw right here. He's got nine points in the ball game. McCauley with the foul, by the way. It is up, and it's good by Preston Moore. Three-point play the old-fashioned way. He's got ten points here on the night. Don't look now. We've got a five-point ball game. Make it seven. Oh, we're singing the Ole song here. <laughs> wow. I'm in Spain. <laughs> the Sykeston student body. With the Devin camera. Rivers oh, makes it glass. in. Slop count. The bank is open. What all those things. I'm not sure what the other saying is. Look at the student section, Tim. Man, they're going nuts out there. That one's way off, but an offensive rebound is up Ooh. in the tip. Over in. the no back. Way. Over the back. Over the yes. back. Yes, sir. Right. Preston Moore in the right place at the right time. All about position, and that's a correct call. Hang on a second. Boo. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's good to keep them kind of separated out, I think, these student bodies. But it's nice to see... A group of kids coming from Sykes and come to the bluff. What happened? I don't know. So oh, well. Preston Moore going to come out of the get, ball game get for a, little, a few minutes. Get a little, get a little breather. Get a little, get a little breather. breather. Catch his breath Lisa a little bit. Lisa Fister likes what she's seeing right now. Boy, what a good ball game this has been. Mules are really making some strides here the last couple of ball games. Big crowd tonight watching. Oh, oh, you got it. oh, oh, no, sir. You wound up a little wind. bit too early on that one. Wind caught that one. We had a strong wind gust. <laughs> That's right. Out of the, what would that be, the northeast? That'd be the southeast. Yeah, southeast. Yeah, the, old, the elusive southeast wind. 
telling you what, next year we got to figure out a way to play some Midnight Madness. No kidding, that'd be a lot of fun. 1 o'clock start time, 1 a.m. We'll start about 10 a.m. with the tailgate parties. We'll have a midnight unveiling of the team. McCauley for three, it is no good. Another offensive rebound, though. Mm. This one is no good as well. Hart goes up, it's no good. Yeah. Now we get a whistle and a foul. Marlon, too many offensive rebounds. Here comes Preston Moore back in. Get him in there, coach. And we're going to get a foul. That's going to be on Isaiah Neville. Nope, it's not going to be on Isaiah Neville. I apologize. We're going to give that one instead to uh, Roberson, his first. So now the inbound to McCauley. Or make that McCray rather. McCray gets it to McCauley. Mules, all they got to do here, John, just maybe get a stop with no points. Good backdoor cut there. Goes up and scores. That was a good backdoor cut by yeah, Harrison Art. He got, he got the baseline. Oh, Mules quickly down the floor. Nice. Yes, sir, Darius Graham for the bucket, for the birdie inside the paint. That's Darius got tonight, about 15. He's got 15 on 15. the nose. And we're going to get a whistle here and a foul. Mm, 1.6 seconds. Gonna, oh, it's going to be on Durden, John. That's number four on him. That's big. Yeah, that's not a good foul. 1.6 seconds left. Bailed him out. That's his fourth. Comes Blaze Rowland. Get a little varsity yeah, Blaze time. Blaze Rowland is going to get some varsity time here. Like to see him get some action. Three point basket is no good by Sirakis. You know, Blaze Rowland, Fra Frankie, I'll tell it real quick. Soccer, a great soccer player. When he was little, I watched the game, and he just kept missing. He'd go all the way, dribble all the way down the field and miss and miss and miss. And I was like, what in the world is going on? Well, the coach told him if he scored more than three goals, he'd take him out. <laughs> so oh. he'd go down there and intentionally miss. So he there you go. Out. <laughs> all right, so we're going to stay here as we see our Lady Mules cheerleaders getting the crowd pumped up here tonight. 59 to 55 is the score. And man, I tell you what, gentlemen, on a Friday night, is there any other place you'd rather be right now? No place I'd rather be, Frankie. No kidding. Tell you what, if my son got a D on a test, I don't want to go home, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Let's go five overtimes here tonight. <laughs> That's right. Just keep riding this thing on out. Is it going to storm, flood, snow, ice, something? Listen, we'll stick on the air. We'll keep it going. Heavy fog Matter of fact, running. Tim and I might pack up, and we might roll down to the chili cook-off tonight at midnight. Hey, hey, the first couple of years, man, some of those guys, old Derek Rollman and some of those guys, they would camp out in a camper down there in the parking lot and do what people do all night long and show up in the morning for that chili. It was a scene, man. Well, I have a question because I'm getting older now at my old age. What does people do all night long? I, I can vaguely remember myself. Okay. I'm not sure. Just saying. Sleep. I don't know what most people do. I try to do. sleep. I, I love to sleep. <laughs> Preston Moore going inside the Get paint. It. Double team off the backboard. It's no good. Mm. Wiggins with the rebound. Now we're going to get a whistle and a foul. That ref, man, I don't think it's a bad call, but he just called with anger. He eyeballs the guy and calls a foul. So come on, man. Going to be on Gavin Rivers. It'll be his third at team foul number five. Four-point ball game. Wow. I'll tell you this. what, I did think going into this game that it could be a very close ball game all the way through. The last time these two met up, they put a lot of points on the board, a lot lower scoring this time around, and that does favor Popper Bluff. Yeah, we need this game, Frankie. Kids need to get a win. 7.25 and counting here in the ball game. Boy, the Mules can use us, need a stop right here. No doubt about it. Darius Graham out on Gray. Kick ball. Oh, a foul. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be on Rivers, and that's number four. Thought that was a kick ball, but Not much they don't, rhyme or they reason don't, they don't uh, pay me to, to think. Not much rhyme or reason on that one. 16 fouls, and now we're going to see Gavin Rivers. That changes everything now. Bonus will go to Sykes in the next time around. Boy, the Mules got to dig down deep. Brendan Durden, Gavin Rivers, both on the bench right now with four fouls. Mules nearly had a steal there by Williams or by Preston Moore. 
Oh, the oh. Mules somehow let oh, yeah. they give McCray some space. They had him trapped in the corner, and they could not get him clamped down. It's a six-point mm. game. Now the Mules got to hang on and dig down deep. Now's the time. They need some of that Mason Dixon chili right now. <laughs> dig down <laughs> deep, should. fellas. <laughs> Williams, he'll pull the Boom. trigger. Bang! Yes, sir, there they go. say. Yes, sir. Three-point game again. I think they said he's a freshman indeed. Uh-oh, David Ooh. Durbin, he tried to get the Academy Award Ooh. of the Year but did not fall for it. 60, oh, gave that points to the wrong, the wrong team. There we go, 63-58. Going to get a whistle here. Yeah, Dallas Williams, you know, he's going to be a great player. Very athletic, as athletic as his brothers, his older two brothers. Yep. And uh, a freshman, he's got a little bit of growing to do, but, man, he can shoot the ball well. Smart kid, plays well, understands the game. Isaiah Neville outside to Williams. Williams, he wanted that three ball. Backs away from it this time. They go back to Neville. Neville now back around to Williams. Durbin, he was wide open for about a second and a half and didn't shoot it. I like the, I like the pass right yes. now by the Mules. Roberson, though, is wide open. Too strong. Isaiah Neville shoot with that. a big rebound. Good no call, good no call. Talk about trying to get an Oscar. Give him a Razzie for that one, number 13. Isaiah Neville. That was a great no call by the officials. We're going to have one there. Blocking foul coming up on David Durbin, and that's also number four on him. He took a pretty good shot to the head on that one. Mm. New York just called and said, get a drink, Frankie. <laughs> take a drink. Every time you take a drink of that thing, I'm not sure my mind wanders. A little bit. <laughs> Not sure where I am. <laughs> Pretty strong here tonight, John. I, I, every now and then I catch a whiff of that, I'm like, what's going on here? And I'm like, oh, you're drinking your green drink. Okay. Don't worry. It's a legit drink. It is. Free throw is up and good by McCray. He's got 21 points here tonight. He has been an absolute stud oh, yeah, for exactly. Coach Hollifield. A great game. Socks and kids have played well tonight. Very disciplined team. They are. Folks, we're going to say good night now. Thank you so much for tuning in. we got an early start tomorrow. Yeah, check the Facebook for the score. <laughs> We've started just putting our score up there after last night. We yeah, no doubt. No yeah. doubt. We'll keep you guessing all weekend. Yeah. We'll tell you Isaiah what we Neville, scored. he thought about taking a three-pointer. Roberson now, four-point ball game. Time to get serious. Preston Moore. Along the outside, and now Darius Graham, 15 points. Going inside, going to be taken away by Arndt. Mules turn it over. Sykeston does not have numbers on this trip. They get it back to Wiggins. Wiggins, long court pass to Williams. Out on and the a three. foul on Preston Moore, his first. On the three. And that is a three-point foul mm. coming up. Mm. Mm. Another long three, too. Our long three also. I think we bailed him out on that one. Yep. I don't think it was going to go in the hole. No, he's that's about a 30-footer. First free throw is up, and it is good. He used the whole rim on that one. Yes, he did. He's got 12 points here in the ball game. One more coming up. Misses that one, so he's one for two on this trip. He'll get one more. Now we're going to see Sorakis coming in the ball game now. Sorakis to, or checks in for Harrison Arndt. Second, or third one coming up here. And he misses two out of three. Boy, that's uncharacteristic for that young man. Really good free throw shooter. Williams going up top off the backboard and scores it. Nice. Oh, baby, what a score that was. He's got five in the ball game. Oh, dude. Good dude. Jump stop. McCray. Mm. Mm. I don't think Kenny Hoffler would have called that one. And we're going to call that one on Darius Graham, and that'll be his first. And we're going to see Gavin Rivers back in the ball game. Gavin Rivers, Brendan Durden is in. A three-point play 
by McCray is up and good at 68 to 62 now. So now Preston Moore with it. Nearly a turnover. It may be a turnover. It will be a turnover on the Mules. How many Make turnovers we got, Frankie? That man. We've got one more than one and less than ten. No, we've got we've got ten. Oh, that's complicated. It was. Oh, what a good move there by McRae. Tell you what, the Mules, they cut it down, and now all of a sudden it's an eight-point game again. Yeah, a couple of turnovers. Still a lot of time. Now we're going to get a foul on McRae, his second. Choppy game here at the end, just like it started, and it's hard when it gets like this. We're getting flow, you know, you can't. Get going, a lot of chintzy fouls. We're still in the game now. Isaiah Neville coming back in for the Mules. So McCray picks up his third personal foul. Make sure and hit that share button for us here tonight on Facebook. Darius Graham, bang! That's a big three-point basket. Back to a five-point game again. Five points. Oh, my goodness, McCray, 28 points here, John. His mom is right in front of us. The shirt says mom of 23. That's how I knew that. that I was going to say, Frankie, you're a <laughs> soothsayer. Dirt in for Boom. three. That's a big Boom. one. Boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As my son would say. Got to put a body on him. Dontrez Williams in the corner. Ooh, no Fakes sir. it. That's just good, good flow there. There's been some, some three battles going on tonight. Sure the Mules are 8 of 21. Sykes to 9 of 24. Isaiah Neville no good. Darius Graham puts it up. He's got 20 points himself. He's got a good game tonight, Darius. Mules put up 74 the last time against Sykes. They put up 70 right now. Scored a lot of points two nights. You can't tell me this Mules team is not ready for districts. You can't oh, tell me ready. that. They're ready. We gotta put this one down right here. Come there, on. Here oh, go. good job by Darius Graham. Or make that by Gavin Rivers, rather. Rivers with a steal. Brendan Durden. No good. And a, and a rebound taken by Don Trez Williams. Boy, the Mules gotta slow it down. That's oh, five. that's five. Yeah, they're gonna call that. Yeah, that was a foul. He got a little, a little quick on a three. I'm not, a, I'm not against the shot. It was a nice shot. He's hot, been hot all night. Comes down and gets the foul. That's five. He had a good game tonight, Durden. Oh, man. Good kid, good player, smart kid, bright future. Competitor. Competitor right there. That kid wants to win. He does. You can't teach that. He's a great kid. He fouls out. Big game here tonight. It is not going to – it's not the CMO Conference finals, obviously, but – Boy, these two teams win a battle. They want to win. Oh, it's always a hard-fought game with Sykes. And Coach Durden pleading his case. He's not going to win, but they're going to call the body contact. Yeah, he swatted a little bit at that. It may have been clean, but it didn't look clean. And that's the thing is refs will call what they think is a foul, whether it's a foul or not. It's Real quick, uh, we've got Preston Moore going to come back in the ball game now. So uh, Durden fouls out 11 points, two assists, six rebounds. By the way, best of luck coming up to our Lady Mules basketball team next Thursday. They'll be in action. Miss Kathleen Patillo is tuning in. Tell John David Patillo, best of luck, and we are behind him. Let him know I'll see him coming up on March 17th. Oh, yes. For Mules baseball. Got, I'm going to come out and watch a little baseball. I'm going to come watch John David. He's a baseball guy. He is a baseball guy. <laughs> 76 to 70 now. Two possession game. Who is going to step up for the Mules right now? Darius Graham. He is fouled, and that might be five on Williams. That might be five on Williams. That looked kind of clean, but we'll take it. It's on Williams, we'll and I believe he is gone. He is gone. Call that a makeup call. We'll take that one. That changes everything right now. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Folks, this is uncharted territory. If we win this ball game, John Scott says we can shave his head bald <laughs> before we hey, end tonight. All it'll take, all it'll take is a pair of tweezers, man. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's a good idea, though. Don Trez Williams will foul out. 15 points, nine rebounds, six assists. <laughs> First one 
is up and good. 21 by the junior. Each team with three timeouts left. And this one is no good. Rebounded by Wiggins. 76-71. Gavin Rivers, he's got four. He's got to be careful. Preston's got Boy, a lot of body contact. Oh, no, contact. you count body, that. Body Come contact. on, man. This ain't the NBA. <laughs> Lord, Frankie. See, i got to keep a positive attitude. You've done wonders for me. This keeps me from getting upset. If I wasn't sitting here talking to people on the radio, I would be upset, but no. We're going to get it back, and we're going to be okay. McCray, a foul going to be called on Preston Moore. He misses that one. Good. <laughs> Ball don't lie. Isn't that what they say? I don't know. It is 78-71. Boy, the mules here need a bucket. Darius Graham out to Roberson. Roberson, the floater offensive Ooh, foul. Saw yeah, that one. Yeah. I'm not going to complain about that call. They're out of control right there. You know, when we passed it around, we had a few possessions. We passed, passed, passed. We get an open look. We're going to see Isaiah Neville coming back in the ball game now for Roberson. Roberson, 10 points, five rebounds here in the ball game. So now the Bulldogs, they've got to get it in. They get it to Siracus. There's a big turnover there. Mules are going to draw the contact. Siracus, it's a one and one coming up. Still have a lot of time, seven-point game right now. But you, if you're the Mules, you've got to be able to convert these free throws right here, right now. Mules, seven out of 13 tonight on yeah. the free throw line. It might be nice to have a few of those right now. Gavin Rivers, he has not been there tonight. Nothing but net. Six-point ball game now. Big audience here on YouTube in our final regular season game. Big audience on Facebook as well. One out of two. Gray, oh, what a good bounce pass. Taken away, though, by Rivers. Rivers steps inside the paint, and a foul going to be called on the floor. Time stops, clock stops, rather. I guess time doesn't stop. <laughs> what is time, really, Frank? We'll talk about that another day. Time has definitely <laughs> stopped here tonight. <laughs> yeah. Going to be a foul on McCray. That's number four on him. My Gavin ball. Rivers, there, there it goes. He's got nine. We're going to need a little bit of luck. McCauley going to come in for Gray. He's coming in for rebounding purposes, and he can also shoot the ball. Gavin Rivers, nine points here in the ball game. He needs this one right here. Grandma Jackie tuning in. She's probably standing up right now. We're going to get a sub coming in now. Preston Moore going to come in for Isaiah Neville. I think Grandma Jackie's probably out of treats right now for the dog. <laughs> There's no way she's got any left. Poor old Misty. Misty's going to sleep good tonight. 139. And counting 78-74. Harrison Art. You can hear the Mule student section. They've got St. Louis jerseys on. They've got Cubs jerseys on. Okay, no Cubs jerseys, but... Wiggins misses. Rivers now. Here we go. Oh, he gets a wide open leg. Nice. Goes up and oh, scores. yeah. I thought he was going to do the pump fake. No way. He went straight up. We got a timeout called. Two point game, Frankie. Going to be a full timeout here. Oh, baby, what a game this is. Mules call a timeout. They've got two left. Our broadcast here tonight being brought to you by First Midwest Bank, Kevin's Auto Repair, PB Realty, Legacy Farm and Land Specialist. Also being brought to you by Whitworth Gift Jess Schuler's and by Russians Towing. What a ball game here tonight, John. Oh, it couldn't end in a better way. Home game right down to the wire. We need to get this win, Frankie. Pamela Davis says, come on, boys. Let's get it done. 
Miss Kathleen Patillo likes what she is seeing right now. I see my, my guy, Lucas Robertson, got the second win tonight, so good. he's in tomorrow. All right, our wrestling he's program. In good shape, in good shape. So good luck to Lucas Robertson yes. and Zoe Freeman. Tomorrow, state semifinals. That's impressive. Man. Oh, it Incredible. absolutely is, man. Tough, tough deal. McCray now back in the ball game. He's got four fouls and 30 points on the night. Don't want to foul him. Isaiah Neville's also back in the floor. One minute now. He gets uh -oh. a wide open lane. Ooh, where's the oh. help D? No help D. 80-76, and we've got a whistle and a foul that stops the clock there, John. It does stop the clock, and we need to make the free throws, my guy. Let's see it. It's going to be a foul time. on Harrison Art. If there's ever a time to get our percentage up a little, right here it is. It's a two-shot foul for Roberson. 20, or make that 10 points on the night. Oh, he misses that one. It's a big miss. Big miss. Darius Graham back in for Isaiah Neville. Eight for 15-ish tonight, about 50%. Mules here tonight, 10 of 18 on the free throw line. That's a little better than you. A little bit above 50%. Come on, baby. Makes there that we go. One. Right. one possession game. Get the steal here. 50 seconds. Mules have got to figure out which player to foul. Harrison Art is not the one you want to foul if you can avoid it. That might be the guy to foul. Yeah, Maybe Ben McCauley. Somebody. 37 seconds. Mules trying to extend. Oh, get the steal. Get it, get it, get it's it. On the floor. Timeout the call. Arrow. Jump ball. It's going to be Sykeston ball. Oh. We call timeout, Boy, baby. The Mules tried to call timeout. We got it. No, we got it. No, no. The official may overrule him. Timeout called bluff. Big call coming. What is it? Come on. Oh, they're the going to say jump ball. Well, we need a little home court on that one. We needed a little bit of home court on that call. Oh. Tee him up. Tee him up. It's Coach like Durden. Out on the floor. Coach Durden. What do we have? Let's watch the, let's watch the replay, Frank. So they're going to give jump ball, and Sykeston is going to be awarded the timeout. Hey, right, we'll get the next jump ball. Tied up again. We're going to go to break. 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. You're watching and listening to Mules basketball on the Southeast Side and Graphics Mules Radio Network. All right, we are back here during that timeout. Coach Durden tried to plead his case. I got to tell you, John, they got a hard job down there. But that was a tough call. That it was, was a tough, very yeah. tough call. Bang, bang play. It's been said I hate referees, and I wouldn't say that, Frankie, at all. What? I would say that I have learned later in life that people are human and people sometimes make mistakes, and anybody who is critical of referees should make take a chance and go ref a game. Doesn't matter what level, what age group, and it'll change your perspective. So I have the utmost respect for referees and what they do, even when they screw up a call. <laughs> That's my piece. Well, here we go. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Possession arrow now favors the Mules. Boy, the Mules had a give me a moment ago, and now they've got to play hard defense here. McCray goes up and Ooh. scores. Nice move. 82-77 now. Mule's got to go for a three. Bang! Oh, Lord. And now it is a two-point game again. 11 seconds left. Mules have one timeout remaining. A teachable moment for these kids, especially the underclassmen. Every possession counts. Every possession matters. One of those gimmies early in the game. Man, it would be nice to have that back right now. It really would. I tell you what, man. This Mules team, win or lose, they're not going to see a lot of competition quite like Sykeston. They fight hard, man, this team. They haven't won a lot of games this year. And remember. But they fought hard. They got good character. These kids are resilient. They know what the deal is, and they're going to be better for it. 
And remember, we do not have tonight the luxury of having Torrance Williams. He is out with the, with illness. Yeah, that's that's tough. That's tough. Torrance is really playing well. He is. Always he plays. good for some offensive production. Oh, my goodness. A few block shots. In a game like this Lexington game, he could thrive in. So now here we go. 11 seconds is left. Mules. They've got to get, they've got to foul quick. They've got to go. And now Darius Graham is going to get called for the foul. McCray is going to go to the free throw line at 34 points on the night. He is five out of eight on the free throw line. Well, he's due for a mess. He got 34 tonight. He's Lord. got 34. Stats do not lie. Guy last night had 37, wasn't it? 36, yeah. whatever. Yeah. If he guy. makes both, it's going to be tough to come back. He makes the first one. Yeah, pretty smooth. Pretty smooth, Mr. McCray. And now we're going to see back in. David Durbin is out. Isaiah Neville is in. And Darius Graham, by the way, picked up his second personal. And we've got a full timeout called this one by the Bulldogs. They're going to have one left as well. We're going to stay here. We're not going to go anywhere. We don't want to take a chance at anything bad happening. I'm afraid John Scott may knock us off the air, so we're going to stay on the. We're going to stay here. I am proud I haven't ever unplugged the wrong thing or hit the wrong button or well, caused you all a lot of problems. That, uh, Never knocked over a green drink. I didn't do that. No, that'd be Coach Pilon, though. He did. <laughs> I still haven't forgot. Forgave him for that one. Yeah, now you're drinking out of the plastic bottles. That's right. That's why I switched. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll have a lock on that thing. I'm uh, I'm protecting our planet by using the bottles. <laughs> That's right. Save the whales, baby. <laughs> Save the whales. <laughs> I tell you what, man, this has been a fun season. I know that, uh, man, that last call a moment ago on the jump ball, you got to go back to that one mm. and ask yourself. Mm. That was a bang-bang play yes, all the way was. around. Well, that's where you need to get. I mean, I'm not saying get an incorrect call. I'm just saying get the home court on that deal. That's yeah. one of those things needs to happen. Boy, I tell you what, this free throw right here is so critical right now for the Mules. If McCray can miss this free throw, Mules have a chance to tie it. He's taking a long time. Missed he misses it. it. Here comes Gavin Rivers. Rivers. They've got three seconds. Isaiah Neville. Oh, oh, oh. I thought that was going to go in. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was close. An inch. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Right down to the wire. It was a great shot taken. Good game. Good game. 83 to 80 is the final. And I know that the Mules are going to be disappointed on this one, but man, oh man, what a ball game here tonight we were treated to. 83 to 80 is the score. Oh, my goodness, what a game here tonight, John. That'll wear you out, Frankie. That wore me plumb out. <laughs> I am out like a lamp. 5 a.m., the door's open at the Coliseum for the Chili Cook-Off Chefs. Come on up, I'll be there pouring coffee and whatnot. Tell you what, Yolanda Clark may have said it right. They left it out on the floor tonight. They absolutely they did. They left it out on the floor. This team had every opportunity to lay down several times this year, and they never, never once Never did. once Never did once. they lay down. They this fought hard, and that will pay these kids dividends in the future in life this and team, everything else that they do. This team is so fun to watch, and I'm telling you, this team in districts, a lot of people may not realize, but I consider the Mules, even though we're a four seed, I think the Mules here are a very dangerous team. Oh, I they think are. they are they very are. dangerous. They're going to be very overlooked and very underrated when it comes in to the tournament. I'm telling you, if I'm Melville right now, I'm watching this game and I'm realizing that Popper Bluff, we're not coming to be one and done next Wednesday. We're coming to win the whole thing. Oh, absolutely. And a team like the Mules, they're going to get to a point right now where they're playing loose. They're playing as well as they can play. And it's going to come together. Well, they can string a whole game together as well as they can play, as well as they play parts of this game tonight, we'll be in real good shape. We play next Wednesday, Lee, and against uh, Melville in Kirkwood. More on that in just a moment. Coach Aaron Duncan joining us right now. First off, Coach, nothing to be ashamed about. This team of yours left it all on the floor here tonight, 83-80, without the services of Torrance Williams, who is out with illness. This team is so fun to watch. It was a good one. I mean, they're tough, and, you know, we just uh, <laughs> we're just that close, you know. And um, 
Anyway, we're going to get over the hump one of these We are going to get days. over the hump. The I want to go, days. you know, obviously one play does not define a game, but I want to go back to the jump ball scenario where Gavin Rivers had his hands on it, came down. It looked like he called timeout from up here. I wasn't down there, obviously. That was a big spot in the game. Well, we were yelling timeout right here, and he was right there beside us. And, I mean, as soon as the ball went to the floor, he started yelling it and thought he had possession of it. But, uh, you know, whatever. Things go that way. And, um, you know, then we could look through this game and find, you know, 100 things that, you know, we could have done better that would have got us over the hump. Like, I think early we missed a few free throws. I mean, you know, if we hit some free throws, you know, and it's a it's a different game. Um, you know, we we get offense or defensive rebound here or there, and don't allow them to get a second chance point. Then it's a different game. I mean, so you know, it could have been. There's several things that we could have done that, you know, could have got us over the hump, but uh, it just didn't happen. I mean, you gotta give credit to those guys. Those guys, absolutely. Uh, you know, there's tough. I, I I was you know, talking to the coaches before, and you know, it, it, they're just tough. They by the end of the year. No matter how they start, they, their teams are tough. And so you, you just got to go out there and compete and and try to out-tough them and see what happens. And, uh, you know, we just fell short. 11 turnovers overall. And the way the Mules played as fast as they played, you got to be happy with that number. That's really good because, um, you know, this time of year, that's that's the key. You, gotta, you, gotta, you can't just give away possessions. And so if that was what it was and it seemed like we didn't have many, then, you know, that's a real positive for us. So, I mean, the thing is, you know, every game we have a different positive. And, um, you know, we're going to – we still think that we got – we got a, you know, a really good shot. And so we'll just see what happens, you know, go out and, and play hard as we can and uh, leave it all on the floor and – See what happens. Obviously, Sykeston had one player with Dontrez Williams fouled out. How big was that with Durden fouling out? Uh, oh, that's uh, that was that's huge. Cause how many threes did he knock down right there when we were making that exactly. run? Exactly. I mean, he he, you know, Brendan just goes out and does his job. I mean, that's the best thing about it. He just goes out and does his job, works his tail off, puts in all the extra time. I mean, there's a reason he's knocking those shots down it's because he shoots all summer long and. And all off season long, and that's what you got to do. You got to put time in, and he's, it shows that he's put time in. Um, you know, it's evident when you watch him play. And I don't know, he's a gritty kid. He's tough, gritty. Um, he's all over the place, and uh, you know, we're just lucky to have him. And thought he did a really good job. What will you guys do over the next few days to get ready for your first round matchup coming up on Wednesday live in Kirkwood? when you guys go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Melville. Just come back and get back in and just grind it out for, you know, an hour. And uh, because it's not going to – nothing's easy and nothing on our schedule has been easy. And every coach we run into, like tonight, uh, you know, I was talking to these guys at 5 o'clock, uh, and they're like, Coach, man, that, your schedule is brutal. And, I, I yeah, it, it's, it's a tough one. Um, but, you know, it's going to pay off. So – we're just going to get back in here and get, get to it and uh, grind it out and, you know, just try to sharpen a few things up and uh, and go up there Wednesday and, and lay it all out there. For the fans who have been with us literally all season, whether it's on radio, whether it's on social media, Facebook and YouTube, what's your message from the coaching staff I, to the fans? I was just thinking before this game started that, um, like, our, our, our section over there, uh, there's been a few people this year, and especially over Christmas break, that um, – one of the coaches, uh, I think it was uh, Little Rock Christian, I talked to him quite a bit um, one day. It may have been the first day of the tournament. And uh, he was like, Coach, I've heard that you don't want to play you guys in the second or third night of this tournament because your section, your student section and your gym is just its just brutal and it's loud and it's hard to play in and it's a tough environment. And I was like – and tonight when I when I came out for that for the varsity game and I looked over there, I just – just all that noise and, and all that energy. And when you go on the road, you just see a different, you know what I mean? You see this uh, Absolutely. A different, like you come home and you play and, and you have all these people cheering and yelling and, and you're just playing with adrenaline and you can see that we're a step faster. <laughs> we can jump, you know, a couple inches higher and we're, you know, just we're a little more aggressive to it. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a blessing to have these people that come out and, and do all these things, uh, you know, as far as, 
uh, like what you guys do and just being here all the time and, and just, uh, uh, just you know, pouring out for the kids because that's what it's about. It's just all about these kids. And we just want them to have a great high school basketball experience. You Tell know? you what, Coach, back-to-back -back ball games, state-ranked teams, go back to the Ladue game, double overtime. Last night we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Park Hills all the way through. And then here tonight against another good team out of Sykeston, Coming up just a little bit short, one more possession that may have took. And I'm telling you what, I can't wait to see our team next week on the road. I believe that we're going to do some great things coming up next week. It all starts at Melville. And then I know what awaits as we get past them. We've got Kirkwood, another state-ranked team who plays much like Ledoux. Mm -hmm. All bets are off. Anything can happen next week. Yeah, and, and you know, the thing is, like, Melville and probably Kirkwood both are – well, Kirkwood especially is, is a lot like Sykeston as far as their athleticism and the type of players. But, um, man, yeah, uh, it's going to be fun. And I was just – while you were saying that, I'm thinking, you know, tonight, you know, that's a fun game. Uh, you know, you're sitting here and you're battling back and forth and you're getting close and then you're, and then you're down eight again and then right. you cut it back to four and then you got a chance to cut it to two and you don't. And then you just – kids just kept battling and they just kept fighting. And that's the thing about this group. That's what Coach was talking about practice the other day is, you know, it, we just don't want to be over because we, we don't want to quit hanging out with them at practice and, and just going through the, the battle. Um, but thank you, thank you, Frankie, and thank you, hey. Tim, for all you do for us and uh, just, uh, you know, putting this out there for people and for us to get to go back and watch and listen to and um you know like listen to you and john and uh it just it's fun times man he was, I, you he know, was fun tonight hey, let me good, tell you good. I'll, I'll have to just go tonight. listen but it's just fun times because uh you know even when you're losing you just got to find the positives and you got to find the things that that uh bring you joy and um you know hopefully that uh We'll get to go up there, and you'll get to call some more games. Coach, I appreciate you more than you know. I love being a part of this program. Bluff is in my blood. I love this place. Can't wait to be up there next Wednesday live in Kirkwood. Should be a lot of fun, Coach. Sounds good, man. You guys be safe. We'll see you then. All Thank right. You. Coach Aaron Duncan joining us live here tonight. Mules going down 83-80. to 80. Love having Coach Duncan on. Tonight, real quickly, the Mule shot 45%, 35 rebounds, 11 of 19 from the free throw line. They were also 9 of 24 from behind the arc, 9 steals, 11 turnovers. Mules were led by Darius Graham, 21 points, 10 rebounds, a double-double, 6 assists. Also from there, 14 points by Marlon Hickman-Roberson. What a game he had, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Also from there, 12 by Gavin Rivers. Five rebounds and two assists. Also tonight, 11 by Brendan Durden, six rebounds and two assists. And then from there, 10 points by Preston Moore. He had two assists, two rebounds. And then you look at other scores. It was Isaiah Neville. He had seven points, three rebounds and three assists. Also five points by Dallas Williams. What a night he had. Also one rebound on the night. And that is your scoring as the Mules will now fall to 9-15 and 15 overall this season. They are now 9-15, and 15, ending the SEMO Conference at 3-5 and five on the season. So that is it for the regular season. We now shift gears and we get ready to bring you districts coming up next week. And that game, by the way, on Wednesday will not be on Facebook, will not be on YouTube. It will just be on Misha TV. We will have a link set up for you on Wednesday morning. And, of course, we'll have it right here live on the radio as well. Let's thank our sponsors one last time in the regular season. They include First Midwest Bank, Kevin's Auto Repair, PB Realty Legacy Farm and Land Specialist. Also being brought to you by Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, Russians Towing, Air Solutions, First Choice Insurance, Popper Bluff Regional Medical Center, Patriot Auto Glass, Christian Automotive and Tire, Eye Care Specialist, Larry Hillis Dodge, Briggs and Stratton. Also being brought to you by the Scott Law Group and being brought to you by Taco Johns. Once again, for Tim Hicks, John Scott, I'm Frankie Castile. We're saying so long from Popper Bluff. Mules fall tonight, 83-80. We're back on the air coming up on Wednesday live at Kirkwood High School. You've been watching and listening to Mules Basketball on the Southeast Signing Graphics Mules Radio Network.